Welcome everybody to another episode of the Bay's Fuego and Sorisa podcast. Today we have a special guest, the one, the only, Eric Tapp. Hey, what's up? How's it going, guys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've been knowing him since. Well, I've been knowing him since. I want to say middle school. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Glenbrook. Yeah, since Glenbrook. When Glenbrook was still around. We're youngsters. <laughs> I mean, we're so young, but we're not. <laughs> we're not yeah, we were like two, hell of young. Yeah. Remember, do you remember Glenbrook? I do. I many times have passed by, and it's just like memories. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember when they used to have? Uh, used to be they didn't have the when we when we went to school they didn't have that electronic sign. They would have that. It was like a paper thing. And they would put like announcements mm-hmm. where they would put like the. Like, they'll put the letters and shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They'll yeah, make yeah. the announcements like, school dance is at 8 p.m. where they actually put letter by letter. Yeah. Dude, that shit was mean. Now this is all electronic screens. It's like, oh, oh when we left, they fucking put the electronic thing every time. I we know, leave, right? Yeah. <laughs> Even um, our high school, Mon- Mon- <laughs> yeah. Mondello, too. Has all color screen. Yeah, bro. I'm like, I'm hella bad. Wait, wait, where do they have it? The same place. What the heck? Yeah. yeah. I, I recently passed by and now it's uh, all color screen. Oh, what the hell? It's like by on Grand Street, right? Yeah. When you're passing the hospital. Yeah. It's all they have like in the thing. Yeah, yeah. dude. And the, solar, and the solar panels too. The solar panels. <laughs> <laughs> I could have parked underneath that, damn it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Everyday hot cars. Yeah. <laughs> damn, bro. What, yeah. Do you, what have you been up to? So, um, been working. Uh, any jobs actually? Yeah. Been a carpenter, been a, uh, a painter. Wow. Been a maintenance man for commercial buildings, and lately I've been working in a drapery shop, mm-hmm. installing and making curtains. Nice. Yeah. How do you like it? It's pretty good. Uh, I like the hands-on kind yeah. of work. You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro, you got hella skills. Have you been able to, like, to use those skills in your like, everyday life? A few, yes. Um, I've also been a tire repair man. What? So, I, I, mean, I know how to change my own tires. So. <laughs> that's, that's hella sick. And repair them in case I need to. Yeah, that's hella skills. That's hella skills. Or whatever. Yeah. That's sick. That's dope. Is it, like, a lot of work, or do you just buy, like, a patch? And- uh, I know the simple stuff, the plugs that they sell at the stores where you can just, in case you have like a nail, take out the nail, plug it back in. It's good. Yeah, it works. Oh man. For like a quick pinch, you know. Yeah, no, that's been hella dope. Because I would like have hella nails on the wheels. Oh yeah. So siempre like I was changing them, I would go and get them changed. Yeah, that's the worst. If I would have known. Yeah, I would've known. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like uh, you, you learn a lot of stuff when you work. Yeah. A lot of little tricks. Do you, do you, like, I always was concerned about, you know those, um, instant flat things, do those, do those ever work? Do they actually seal the holes? Oh, the run flats? Yeah, you know, the, you know those, they sell, like, in a bottle, and you, supposedly, you, oh. in, you would, like, inject it into your tire, tire, and it'll fix the holes. Does the, that really the, work? The green stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, never actually used that, but I believe it might work. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. So I was like, I was, I wasn't sure if that was like a, like a sales gimmick or if it was like a real thing, you know? Yeah. Um. I mean, it might probably work like on bike tires. Oh. <laughs> um, regular color. big tires, it might be like a little bit of a mess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's messy having yeah. to use that stuff. But uh, I thought you were like talking about uh, run flats. Uh, run flats. Have you ever heard of run flats? Mm-hmm. What's that? They're like really thick tires. They're like crazy to put on. <laughs> Okay. And uh, whenever you get a, a nail on your tire, uh, you can run on it, even if it's flat. What? Yeah. Is it because what? it doesn't penetrate the entire the tire? No, it, it penetrates, but uh, they're like really stiff tires. Okay. So even if the air comes out, you know, you can still run on them. Oh, that's mm-hmm. sick. That's cool. Hey, that works, man. <laughs> <laughs> I learned something new. Shit. Yeah, for real. Yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. What's what's um? So you work in um, drapery? Yes. So what like what kind? How does that work? Like uh, they make uh, custom drapes uh, curtains. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, we basically just we uh, receive uh, orders with uh, with fabric, and we just made them make them all custom. Is this for like like house like regular houses, or is this for like commercial buildings or houses, buildings, anything? Oh, like. really? Yeah. That's sick. Hotels. Yeah. Man. Damn, Do you guys cool. have like a? Can you customize it? Like. Yeah, anything. Oh, really? Really. You put like Tupac on the drapes? <laughs> if, if you can find the fabric, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, that'd be fresh. That'd be sick. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> wait, I'm in the shower. Got some Tupac curtain. <laughs> Let me get that Tupac curtain. <laughs> <laughs> when you close yeah. your blinds, you know, all of a sudden you see Tupac on the outside. That'd be sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's watching me. <laughs> I got him right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Uh, that's all it's say. Yeah, hell yeah. That's, that's you're, you're, you know how you're talking about like different jobs. I was kind of doing the same thing. Like, like right now I'm in like I have this job I really mm-hmm. enjoy, but it's it's far. Yeah. So I'm currently in the I don't know if I should be saying this, but I'm in the process of looking for something closer to home. Oh so yeah. I'm, I'm okay. commuting like I go all the way to San Mateo and Mateo? yeah, and it's to this. Hard, bro. Is it expensive for you? Yeah, because I mean, my my luckily my car has good gas, like good gas mileage. But I still, even with the good gas mileage, I have to uh, fill it up twice a week. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then you know, toll San Mateo Bridge, you know. Oh man, no, no. it's killing me, you know. Yeah. So, no, I'm looking I, for like. I recently got myself a, a car, uh, oh, yeah. Honda Civic. Dude, the Civics are yeah. so oh, good. Civic. Si. Oh <laughs> yeah. Damn, bro. Those things are nice. Yeah, Civics are sick. Yeah, they have gas mileage, right? They do. Um, almost like yours, I, I have to fill it up twice a week. Yeah. More or less. Yeah. But it depends on how I'm flooring it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know what I hate, though, about the Bay Area, though? Yeah, yeah. You know those stupid fast track lanes that they're putting on 680 and 80? Oh, yeah, yeah. They just recently put one. Yeah, on, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you noticed that? Yeah, yeah, the one right over here. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Were they like Warner Creek, Elm over there? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like going this way, like yeah. migrating. Man, I never. I, I've been tempted to use it one time because traffic, but it's like 980 an exit. Cause yeah. they, it's like they do what Uber does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when there's like, like a lot of traffic, they'll surcharge it hella. But when there's like no traffic, it's like to like 50 cents. Or yeah, like that. <laughs> it's so cheap. <laughs> it's like, they change the price whenever they want. Yeah, I'm like, dude, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be in two hours of traffic. Yeah, for, there. for real. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. Man. Well, you live in, you work in the city, right? Yeah. I take a, but I take bus and bar, so it's not, it's not too bad. Yeah. Every- now, <laughs> when I used to work in, uh, I used to work in commercial buildings, so I would work mostly in Warren Creek. Oh, sick. And the traffic back to Pittsburgh, uh, it's horrible. <laughs> Man. No, but for that, I had to, like, find a lot of little shortcuts all around <laughs> to beat the traffic. It's, it's always, like, you know how you pass the Glumber Kings of the Oliveira? Yes. And you start going up mm-hmm. to get to 4? I mm-hmm. feel like that part is, like, where in Piesa, like, where it gets all the traffic. It does. You go to Pittsburgh. Like, you're cool, and then all of a sudden, you just start slowing down. Yeah, it's, uh, I've, I've, I've seen the traffic. It's mostly Walnut Creek to Concord, from Concord to Oliveira. Yeah, that's yeah. where it all starts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's all packed up. Like from then you have like a little break when you go like when you split six eighty and four. Yes. You have a little break until you fucking each out Oliveira and Grant and yeah Grant Street. Yeah. Because yeah. Grant Street they have that interchange where the cars are coming in but they're trying to get into the they're trying to swap to six eighty or to twenty four other. Mm-hmm. And then you're like trying to like you know trying to maneuver that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I have yeah. a, a suck because like you say like there's like a spot right that's like the break yeah I don't know when it was like a couple years ago I don't know how oh, I mean I don't know how I guess I wasn't paying attention and I had like a bad accident like a car crash oh for real yeah Damn. I mean I didn't get hurt but that's it was like your car may, was maybe the car stopped on this because there's like five cars <laughs> but it's like there's a break and I still crashed <laughs> it's like it's happened dude. to me like where like you're like you're going hella fast. Your traffic is moving, and all of a sudden, traffic just stops. Yeah. And I, I was driving my mom's car at the time, and I, I hit the brakes really hard, and I still ended up hitting the car. And the funny thing is, 
That car didn't get any damage, but my car got wrecked. Dude, the same thing happened to me once <laughs> when I was working. I took an exit, I was driving good, and then I just, for a brief moment, looked away. Yeah. And as soon as I looked back onto my lane, the car was stopped, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I hit the car, my car got wrecked, the car, no scratch. Wow. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. I'm like, that's freaking crazy. Dude. <laughs> we were talking about car accidents. I saw like a, on my way home yesterday, I saw like a Tesla hit another car. Oh, and man. then Tesla's, I don't know what, I don't know if they're using like cheap material, but that car looked like it got completely totaled. Like, yeah. it's like, you couldn't even like, the front was really wrecked. I oh, know, like, the worst thing about Tesla's, you know how they don't have engines in the oh, front? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Imagine having your stuff there. Oh, <laughs> oh, I, dude, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Like you have your expensive gear in front and all of a sudden you have a wreck. Yeah. <laughs> I know. you like First you crash, you react to that, and then it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, on, I've honestly thought about getting one, but it's like, it doesn't make sense. It, you have to live close to where you work. Yeah. Because you because the charging... Um, it takes a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I mean, as uh, supposedly, I think uh, the actual they have a maps and yeah. the maps actually calculates where wherever you're going, where there's a fast charger. Oh, they go tell you. Yeah, yeah. like if it, during your route it says like, oh, you need to charge, and go through here. My brother has what? one. My brother has a Tesla. Yeah, he has like it's like it's it's like you're in the future though because it's like you have this giant screen that looks like an iPad attached to the thing and that controls everything yeah and you can play you can play like fart sounds and like <laughs> it's really it's really fun you said fart sounds? yeah <laughs> oh that's it's a game funny. changer <laughs> you can have like have like your radios there everything is there dude you can hack those teslas oh man it's so yeah that's the that's the thing oh man dude, i've been worried about that tell me why i've been worried about that getting hacked <laughs> yeah just like everything is becoming electronic so everything is becoming everything online and once you have internet connected to anything you just a few clicks away to just you know? uh, it feels like everything's getting smarter smart phones smart watches smart refrigerators smart toilets <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to get a clean butthole a <laughs> <laughs> <Every> day <laughs> thanks <Rachel. laughs> <laughs> apparently there's like boudets that have like warm water shoot up your butthole yeah, that's that was in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I was in Airbnb once, and it had. I was confused for a second because I said two toilets. I'm like, uh, I don't know what to do. Which one is it? <laughs> it looked exactly the same. You should have been like, which one of you talks? <laughs> and then I had, to, I, had, I had to hit the little like, the little lever, and then it was like, oh, that one squirts water. So I'm not using that. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Apparently, it squirts water up your butthole and then it cleans it up. Yeah, I, if, from what I heard, I think Japanese people are like really into hygiene. Oh, okay, okay. Supposedly, that's a better way because the way you're doing it is you're, you're putting more, when you're white, you actually like, you're putting more bacteria into you than you are like getting rid of. Practically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, technically, it's better, but it's. I don't know. I can't get used to that. Yeah, I never thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just something you do. And you <laughs> oh, man. Speaking oh. about Tesla, what do you guys think about the Cybertruck? Dude. <laughs> that's like crazy. a freaking tank. Yeah, that shit like, looks... It looks hella weird. I know. Yeah. It's like someone of like a random kid just drew it out. <laughs> that looks either really cool or really creepy. I can't yeah. tell. Yeah. Like something out of a sci fi movie. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's yeah. gonna transform into like a transformer thing and then oh, yeah. a war or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I never saw the um like the video for it, like when he was explaining it. No, right. Like I never watched it, but and then, have you watched it? Yeah. What did you I say have. about it? Um well I was interested, I just never got to it. From what I saw the whole car is made of titanium and it's like really strong. Yeah <laughs> but they had a fluke in the presentation when they were trying to show off the super strong windows. Uh, I guess they had already tested out beforehand and when they actually did the presentation, um, it broke. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, so it was like... Because you already damaged it one time. You yeah. know, you're supposed to, I supposed mean, they to were testing it. it out before the presentation, That's making it sure that it was working. Yeah. But as soon as they did the presentation, it, it actually broke. <laughs> oh, what so the hell? I think 
Isn't it because they tested it to the point where it's already like at the point of failure? Yeah. And so when they hit it, it just pretty much shattered. It was like yeah. the last hit. Well, what do you hit it with? With the uh, ball bearing. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, those are like really strong. Yeah. And it's supposed to withstand it. Yeah, uh, they're like supposed to be like you know normally when you're tra- uh, on the road, you get a random rock that just bounces off and puts oh, a crack on your window. That happened to me, man. Well, that's why mean? they made those uh, windows like super strong. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, that's sick. Yeah, I got especially you know for Tesla, it might be way too expensive to replace those windows. God damn, those parts are so expensive. Yeah. The, 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 from what I understand, that the car is not the expensive part, it's the battery. Yeah. Right? The battery is like super expensive. That's why it costs that much. If the battery wasn't expensive, the Tesla's would be cheaper. No, for real. That yeah. meaning like they would sell it for a cheaper price for us, the yeah. normal people. But like <laughs> really, for like nowadays, they're making cars way too difficult to repair for um, Yeah, that's You can true. repair them yourselves. A- any car, you, especially Tesla, where uh, now they, in case you ever want to repair your car, you literally have to bring it to their dealer. Yeah. You can't mess around with it. Yeah. Yeah, but I remember seeing this one video of a guy on YouTube who was like, uh-uh, I ain't about to pay Tesla just to repair my car. Yeah, because you, the only place you can go around here is Fremont, I think. Yeah. There's no other, like, there's no other Tesla dealer or Tesla repair shop out here. No. You would have to go all the way to Fremont, drop your car off yeah. somehow, <laughs> and then come back and then wait yeah. for it. <laughs> no. no, but this guy, he was fed up with it. He uh, learned how to code and everything. He was, he's was he been fixing his own Tesla. Is this, yeah. is this the guy from LA? Is this the same guy? I'm not sure exactly. Because I, I heard about a guy who was able to like, he, he was able to get like, Teslas that were underwater and then like repair I like so, two different types of Teslas into one and then he ends up I'm butchering the story by the way <laughs> um, but he got fed up with it and then he created his own he started to work on Teslas yeah, yeah. and then he figured out how to repair them and then now he has like his own shop in LA that's like one of the few shops in LA where you can actually get your Tesla repaired yeah. and if you're thinking about LA and you know there's a lot of money out there and a lot of like rich people out there Imagine if there's only one or two people that know how to repair your thing. Oh man, how much they charge? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's probably making, I mean, he's he's a he's a good guy. He probably doesn't charge too much, but I mean, he's making good dough. I mean, yeah, oh shit. Sure. Not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the future of yeah, uh, cars. True, if you yeah. want to be a car repair man, you might as well start learning yeah. uh, you can, how to yeah. hack. <laughs> you don't have to be like an engineer slash like coder slash mechanic yeah. <laughs> it'd be nice though to have both yeah. like stuff to the old school like still have that learning how to do it and then learning how to really sick learn the combustion engine and the electric yeah, yeah. yeah it's cool yeah. working on the car like, I mean yeah. I don't know a lot but the repairs <laughs> I've done like it's cool it is it's yeah. just getting your hands dirty yeah. Yeah. like I mean you know like the, when you're in the process like god dang it well, like <laughs> but it's still fun then when you finish it it's like yeah. satisfaction yeah, yeah. Like, getting yeah, I did done. this. <laughs> <laughs> I have also like, ah, but you know, I'll let you tell myself in the car to tell a happy look. I did it. I don't check sparkles. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. They're like, I don't know. It's very empowering. <laughs> it's sick. It does because a lot of people don't even know how to put air in the tire. I know, really. Oh, man. I remember seeing this one video. It was like April Fool's video. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you ever seen a guy who's named uh, Chris Fix? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, well, he's very famous on YouTube for uh, showing how to fix cars mm-hmm. and he put up a video as to how you need to put summer air and winter air in your tires <laughs> doesn't make sense <laughs> air is air <laughs> yeah and a lot of people fell for it like uh, i think there was like a comment uh, on his video where a mechanic is like i just had a lady come over to my shop asking that i need that she needed some winter air <laughs> <laughs> And he had to explain to her, like, uh, here is air, you don't need winter or summer air. <laughs> That's, I agree. It's just, we, a lot of people don't have to, like, uh, some people don't have time to, like, know things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, that's why, like, a lot of people are, like, disengaged from, like, a lot of the political process. Because mm-hmm. we're all so into, like, working and paying off our bills. Yeah. Nobody has time to, like, research, like, our, our like, voting process is, like, super difficult in this country. Exactly. You just get the day off. Like, it, no, give no. So we can vote. <laughs> so, <laughs> just vote. Yeah. It's not because it's always on a Tuesday, the first week of November. 
That's like voting day. Yeah. And other countries have like a day off to vote. It's like, we should do it too. I oh, know, really. <laughs> <laughs> What, like an actual, actual day off? Yeah, they get like the whole day off. And then they'll give them like, I know, I think it's in Italy. They'll give them like, like reimbursements to go to like the train and everything to actually go vote. What? Yeah, because they want to make it like, they want it, they want to incentivize people to vote. So they'll make it easier instead of making it harder. We make it harder. <laughs> wow. That's great. We, we should have that. Yeah, yeah just give us a day off. Yeah, that'd be dope. Go vote and then relax. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> get a beer. <laughs> Damn, that'd be sick. Yeah, most of the time, you know, you're off late. You work. Yeah, early. exactly. Like, then everything's closed or whatever. Yeah. Like, like me, I start. I start at six, but I wake up at three in the morning. I leave the house at four. I don't get home to four, mm-hmm. five. Because I, I, I leave at, I get up at 2.30, mm-hmm. but then I hit 2.30 traffic on the San Mateo Bridge, and then it's gonna, it usually takes me about two hours to get home. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to get, I want to get, uh, I'm in the process of getting a job closer to home. Yeah, that's what I do. Because I want to hit the gym, I want to do more reading, I want to do like a lot of personal goals, Yeah. but driving so far and being so far from where I live, it, it just makes it really difficult. Yeah, I understand. And I'm on my feet all day too, so that's when I get home, I just want to keep my feet up. <laughs> yeah. no, that, every time I ever get like, uh, mostly weekends, anything, even if it's just like two, two days, I find time to either travel or uh, do something fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> like the next week, you're going to just go and do all over again. <laughs> so do you have, how many jobs do you have? Uh, right now? Right now, this one. This one? This one. Yeah. Oh, but it is... How does that work, like, your work schedule? Is it, like, some weekends you work, some you don't? Uh, no, I'm mostly all week. Oh. I work from 10 to 4, 6 hours. And uh, a little more, depending if there's an installation. Mm-hmm. You work, where, where do you work, or where? And uh, currently working in Lafayette. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Pretty close. Yeah. So you just take that freeway back home? Yeah. No. The only, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a way to go from Lafayette, but that's through the hills. So I don't know. If... The Pleasant Hill Road? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've I taken so. that route a few yeah. times. <laughs> yeah. There's also another shortcut through uh, um, Lafayette that leads you into Wanna Creek. Yeah. And then you can just take maybe uh, uh, Nashville Valley. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's just sick. Some of these roads, man, if you if you ever take like the back roads, there's mm-hmm. a way to get to Livermore through Concord. Oh yeah, Clayton. Yeah, yeah. Clayton, you I think I forgot forget the that name of it. Right, there's a street, man, there's like it's like a forest, dude. Yeah, it takes you all through the edge of Mount It's Yabla. sick, it's That's sick as fuck. Sick. I recently just went through that road oh. uh when I went to Yosemite last weekend. Mm. Sick. Yeah, to avoid all the traffic you went through there. Yeah. Oh, uh, not so much the traffic. Mm. Well, yeah, traffic. Yeah, we just really <laughs> wanted to get oh. there quickly. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like the closest route. Yeah, this, yeah. 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 Oh, sick. At least, yeah, we went out into Bermuda instead of uh, Livermore. Mm. But yeah, you can take that same route to Livermore. Because uh, how far is Yosemite? Like, Yosemite, about two hours. Two hours? From here? Really? Oh, that's is that close? That's yeah. not bad. Damn, that's hella close. I mean, to the valley might be three hours. Yeah. But um, you can get there around two hours. Oh. Oh, yeah. I thought that's my commute. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> seriously, yeah. I'm like commute every day. Yeah, man. That's oh, crazy. That's not bad. I thought hours. it was like five hours or something. Yeah. Five hours would be if you go all the way out to Nevada. Oh, right. That place. It's like yeah. closer to Nevada? Um, Kind of close, yeah. Mm. Pretty close. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I've driven to freaking Washington. Washington. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. this guy I've done did it some ju- journeys, bro. Yeah, I've done it. Yeah, I've been wanting to visit Washington. Do it, drive, dude. It's cool. It's Washington, Oregon. Go to Oregon. Yeah. You, hear, you hear about the real IDs happening this year? Yeah. Where? Oh, here. In the, in the United States. States. About the real ID thing? No, I didn't. You know, you know what you know about it? No, I haven't. Oh. Uh, if you want to travel outside of your state, you have to either have a real ID or your passport. Oh, wow. You can go to the DMV. You have to have certain documents. But it like uh, travel 
through the airplane or through the car? Oh. Wow. What the hell? Oh, I thought it was just the airplane. What the hell? Oh, yeah. man, they're making a scare. Yeah. <laughs> they say you have until October. I mean, it's going to take into effect in October of this year, so you have time before. Okay. Oh, to get your real ID. I'm going to the DMV this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The adventure. <laughs> they're, they're cool. The DMVs are cool. It depends. Yeah, sometimes. It depends. <laughs> it depends on where you go. You go to the DMV in Pittsburgh, they're cooler than the one out here. They're less yeah. strict. The here is more, way more strict. It's That's like, where I got my license. Man. In Pittsburgh? In Pittsburgh. Me they're, too. They're, they're, they're super <laughs> chill. Over yeah, here, they're a little bit more uptight. He's like, uh, I, I failed like a few little things, but he's like, you he passed. I'm like, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard they're, they're a little bit more. Yeah. They're cooler, I would say. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> No, but it's, it's gotten way better in DMV. I've noticed how they've more been online. Even they have a person in front where they actually take care of you quicker. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. that way you don't have to be waiting too long. Yeah, that's crazy. yeah they ask you, like, what are you here for? Mm. And they just direct you where to go. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah, it's cool. What I really like is the, the fact that they have those kiosk things where you can get your tags. Oh, yeah, yeah that's I super new. Those, I love those things because, man, mm. I'm not waiting two hours to I get know. my sticker. Mm. You know? No, that happened to me, like, like years ago, like maybe like two years ago, it was hella packed. I went to the comic one, hella packed. Yeah. I walked in there, I'm like, oh damn. So I'm like, I'm like a hell of a guy, it's there, right? Yeah. So I'm like, oh man. And I'm like, wait a minute, I can just go do it. <laughs> like I was there, I think like half hour, just thinking, like, wait, why the hell am I waiting in line? I can just, <laughs> just like, yeah. So I've then I got that out. <laughs> yeah, I got out, got it, did. I was like, all right then. <laughs> <laughs> hella cheap. I think you can even do it quicker cool. online and just wait until it gets on through yeah. the mail. Yeah, mm. that's true. That's well, you don't have to be going to the DMV at all. Yeah, you're right. Sometimes I'm really bad at planning shit and wait till the last minute and then I just go. Yeah. <laughs> and then do That happens to me too. <laughs> yeah. I procrastinate. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it now. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. And it's already <laughs> like three months later. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Let's do it the next day. I better wait. I better go straight. Oh, man. <laughs> I think they're open Saturdays too. They are, I think so. In, in concrete, no. They're open Saturdays. Yeah. Which is really nice because when I get after work, I don't want to go nowhere. I just want to go straight home. I know, I know. Sitting, sitting break life for two hours makes you go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I try to try to put music on and everything, but man. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. You get like cabin. It's like cabin. I don't know if you ever had cabin fever. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Like, or like where you're stuck on a cruise ship or anything like that, and it just like it drives you kind of nuts. You get like cabin, there's this thing called cabin fever. They did a, they did a Mythbusters episode to see if it's real, and it is. Oh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> it's a real thing. Then I think they, they kind of wanted to pull a prank and bring out the Snow Yeti. Yeah, exactly. The... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a real thing. Like, it's when you're like, you're inside of a place for too long and your mind will, will try to find ways to find escapes <laughs> and you'll start going like you start going down this weird path that's why you need to go out a little bit even if it's just to go to work <laughs> yeah no yeah you get some fresh air man. yeah because a lot of people when they're during the winter time they're stuck because of the storms and shit yeah yeah so that's a real thing Damn. I didn't have stuck in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere to go. Dude, I thought about like leaving California, but I'm like, no, I don't want to be stuck in the snow. Because <laughs> <laughs> we always talk about on the podcast um, how the rent just keeps going up, you know? The, now rent? the rent? Oh, the rent. Oh, cool. Yeah. I was like, man, the bay is like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I think they, I just recently heard that they brought out a lot. Oh, yeah. That they can't keep. Rising the, the rent anymore? Rent control? Yeah, yeah, rent control. They can't. Per- they, they, yeah, they passed it this year. Yeah, which is good. So oh, I mean, that was really about good. fucking time. <laughs> I know. But is that like for everything or like? Yeah, uh, yeah. I think yeah. for yeah. houses and uh, apartments. Yeah. What? Yeah, you can't raise it up to like a certain percentage, like five percent or something like that. Yeah, because they'd be going crazy on the rents. Yeah. Dude, so I learned that I was with my. Uh, uh, I was working. Oh, sorry. Go. I was working with the chef, 
and we were just talking about how he li- he lives in Gilroy, mm-hmm. in, like the edge border, like South San Jose, Gilroy. Yeah. He was like, man, I was with my wife. We we're talking about, you know, moving to San Mateo. See these, new- and he we, he pointed to like the new, because they're building new houses or condominiums. And he said, two bedroom of that is four thousand two hundred a month. Two wow. bedroom. I'm like, what? He's like, he needs to, he's like, told his wife, you want to pay that? No. <laughs> Damn, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah. That's in San Mateo. <clears throat> Some family members of mine uh, that lives in Concord, mm-hmm. they actually had a little living space just for two bedrooms and one kitchen. $2,000. Oh, I'm wow. like, whoa, that's about as much as we're paying at our, my house. And my house has like almost uh, five bedrooms and Damn, like three bedrooms. Three, nice. Three uh, bathrooms. I'm like, dude, they're ripping them off. <laughs> yeah, cause Con- Concord is becoming like that too. I uh-huh. noticed that certain parts they're becoming like gentrified. Yeah, really. Yeah. Um, what was it? Oh yeah, you got your own place? No, uh, I still live uh, with my family. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Big old Brady bunch. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. Yeah, so. That's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Be having to pay for rent because <laughs> I can I, I can understand the struggle with rent. Yeah. What do you think? It's a lot. I mean, I'm grateful. I mean, it's not a lot. Here, yeah. But it's nice to have rent to waste. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah, it is. Yeah, but I've always been. I've just been always been like I've always wanted my privacy. Like mm. since I was a kid, I always wanted to be independent, have more privacy. Same so same. now that it's here, it's like grateful. It's pretty, yeah, pretty good, dude. Pretty much. Yeah, I, don't know. I just like to screw up. <laughs> 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 I mean, it, it was it's nice. Like it wasn't that long ago. It was like me and all my brothers, like the whole family in the house. It was yeah. like down the street too. It was cool, but we were renting. It was cool, but you know things happened. So yeah, yeah. Everybody went the ways, and I was like, well, now it's time to you know finally do what I've been trying, thinking my whole life to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so like, it popped up though. I wasn't even trying to find a spot. For real? But yeah. This one, I was like, ah, uh, I see. And then I, I saw another spot like in Martinez. Wow. Yeah. But the same thing. And then I was like, ah, but then I went in there and it was like kind of iffy. I'm like, nah, I don't want to go there. And I'm like, wait a minute, they got a pool. I'm like, my daughter, she likes swimming. Bam, hit them up. That works. <laughs> it worked out. I was like, oh. And now at first I was like, man, not this one. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute, hold on. I had to come sometimes, back to it. It's so crazy. Sometimes you, you think you don't want something and then it turns out to be the exact thing yeah, that you, you need. <laughs> yeah, yeah. honestly, I couldn't ask for anything better, man. Yeah, you got six I mean, I mean, the space, was, you know, maybe a little more space just for her. You know, mm-hmm. like she could have her own little room or anything. Mm-hmm. But besides that, no, man, it's like, it's just me. Yeah, it works yeah. out, man. Yeah. That's cool. Just grateful. No, it was better that way, having to have your own place. Yeah. I forget it, though, honestly. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's come like a, I guess it's become like a habit that I know I come here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, it's just like, come in, I'm all, I come in to the spot, put the stuff, you know? I think maybe that's why I don't think about it like that. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think about it so big. Yeah. I just, I don't know, I, I guess I subconsciously made it a habit to just stay humble. I don't know, I, yeah. I couldn't tell you, but... It's just, yeah, like I come in, I'm, I'm grateful though, but I'm just like, for sure. It's and sick, it's dude. Just, like, I always like from yeah. here. I'll say it. Nah, thank you. Yeah. We were just talking about that. Like the last podcast, we were talking about, um, what is it, the hierarchy of needs? Oh, yeah. And we were talking about how, like, in the Bay Area, we can't even get to, like, that first <laughs> physical, the physiological needs. Oh, yeah. Where it says you need uh, shelter, food, clothing, what was it? Air, water, something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Air, water, shelter, food, fire. <laughs> <laughs> that too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about that. We were talking about how, what was it, I think it was San Mateo, where they, where they were like, they would see a homeless person and they'll ship them to like San Francisco. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. They, they have these passes. Um, it's kind of like these bus passes and it's like the last you know the last bus or whatever of San, you know, San Mateo going to San Francisco mm. they're going to give it to the homeless people because that's how they get rid of them so oh. out of their city yeah. I'm like what yeah dude San Francisco it feels like you're walking to a third world country it's like you have really rich people these ivory towers and then you see all these homeless people needles it's like 
Yeah, I, I've seen the homeless people in person. Yeah. Um, I would go sometimes with a group of people to give out uh, socks and sandwiches uh, to the homeless. Oh, so mm -hmm. Yeah, and you would just go into their neighborhood and you'd just be like, wow, these people. Yeah. yeah and, the, and the fact that they had to deal with this is, is crazy. It's, it's that we allowed it to get to, I feel like we allowed, we, not us citizens, but the politicians and the people that work in politics allowed it to get that bad. Yeah. Because <laughs> they could have stopped it way before they started building all those, you know, high rises and shit. They could have. Yeah. Trying to make the best of every day. Exactly. Trying really. Fun. Really. Yeah. Just working. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're uh, you're into like photography, huh? I am. I am. I recently I. Found your work. By the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I sick. recently got in a film camera. Oh, sick. And uh, I've been working with that, and it's been really fun. Dude, your Instagram's fire. I really enjoy thank your. You. Yeah. I recently I just uh, took. Uh, one a uh, few rolls of San Francisco and Yosemite. I still have to get them developed, but uh, you guys will still soon see them on Instagram. Uh, nice, sick, sick, sick. It is pretty fun. I mean, I, I thought like I was thinking about getting a uh, digital camera, and I was like, oh. you know, I could fire off a lot of pictures, or I could get a film camera and really hone down my photography skills. And I'm like, I get a film. Man, uh, mm -hmm. that's like hell of like smart and creative. Like, yeah, that's sick. No, yeah. but it's, it's fun. It's really fun. I, it. I recommend yeah. building cameras. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Do you have your like? Do you have a dark room and you develop everything? Uh, uh no. Uh, I would like to do that. Um, but I just send out my pictures to get developed. Oh, okay. In the store. That's it. Yeah. Damn. That's so sick. No, but it's pretty fun. It's, I have a Nikon FG. This is a small little Nikon um, with a 50 mil lens. I also recently just got a telephoto lens to do some uh, landscapes. Nice. And I'm really looking looking forward to shooting with that. Man, are you gonna like? Oh man, I'm like excited for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like getting excited. Like there's the possibilities, man. That's it. I'm just... Yeah. What are your plans with, with those, like, with photography? Uh huh. Um, mostly just been a hobby. Uh, and the reason I also got a film camera is like I don't really take too many pictures. I, I try to as much as I can. Um, but possibly, uh, maybe in the later future, maybe work. Uh, I would like to work in a film ca uh, camera store where I could. You know, I actually get more involved into film. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's it. It's funny because the old school is coming back. In it way. is. Yeah. It is. There's a ton of people on YouTube that are like really into it. Um, and one of my goals is if I really get good at uh, 35 millimeter, I would like to go to the medium format, the bigger film cameras, like Hasselblad's or the the twin reflex cameras with the two lenses. Damn. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Wait, when, when it has the two lenses, does it take like, you can do like two different ones or like at the uh, same time? No, no. It, the way it works is that one of the lenses actually, uh, the one where you look through, the other lens is the one that actually takes a picture. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen them like on magazines and stuff, but they're like the big blocky cameras with the two yeah. lenses on them. Oh, oh wow, that that's that would sick. hella help because like I don't have I'm okay. Right? <laughs> I, I don't I'm not hella good. I just take regular videos or pictures. But I'm always like since I'm looking at the lens, I always forget mm -hmm. how it's taking the shot, so it always comes out wrong. Yeah. So that would hella help. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, um, I've been mostly trying to work on my compositions, um, trying to find creative ways to take pictures. And it's just tough sometimes trying to find a little um, a good composition in certain things. Yeah. But that that's the fun part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually yeah. trying to find things. Yeah, cause you're like creating it. Yeah. You're like trying to figure out exactly how you want it to look. Yeah. And then when they come out, like how you think, does it is it like how is it? Yeah. Uh, sometimes like I have it in mind, like especially with film cameras, you know, you, you can't see the pictures. Uh, with digital camera, you can see it instantly. You uh, what you took, and then you can refire if you think you messed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But with film, you take it. That's it. If you messed up. That's your fault. <laughs> but 
But um, I'm mostly like imagining in my mind, okay, it's gonna look like this. The lighting is perfect. Composition mm -hmm. is good. All right, fire. I've always been curious. What do you do with the pictures? Uh, the film? Mm -hmm. Uh, save them. <laughs> no. yeah, and yeah. the cool thing with film, um, unlike digital, if you erase it, it's gone forever. With film, you still have the raw. Mm, that's true. So if you ever want to rescan, you can rescan. Ah, oh, sick. That's hella cool. Damn, that's sick. And I've been using, uh, normally you would uh, either have someone scan them for you or scan them on a digital flatbed. Mm -hmm. Remember those old flatbeds? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, um, that's hella long. <laughs> and but I, I was like you know I don't have money to buy myself a flatbed or to pay someone to scan them I'm gonna try scanning them with my phone and I created like a little scanner out of a phone board and I, I used my computer light in the dark just to uh, pass uh, light through the film and with my camera I can just take a picture and through a camera app I reverse the colors and adjust it to how I like. Damn. That's hella smart. <laughs> Damn. That's hella sick. Yeah, I've been studying it for quite a bit. I can tell. Um, <laughs> since like high school, uh, I yeah. was all on YouTube, just full on learning, trying so to Airplanes and cameras. Yeah. Airplanes, cameras, carpentry too. Uh -huh. I've been really getting into that too. Yeah, sick. And he's putting all that work. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. crazy how like it blossoms. Yeah. Like, if yeah. you get appreciated more. Now, I don't know if you guys still remember, but uh, one of many things I used to do in Glenbrook was uh, origami. Oh, yeah. I forgot oh, about what? that. Didn't you do, like, the Ninja Stars, too? Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Ninja Stars, a bunch of stuff. Like, I, I, at first, I remember back then, I was, I was like, oh, that's just fake stuff. But I thought that was, like, not really possible folding paper. Uh -huh. But then I, I, like, I stumbled upon a book in the library, and I'm like, oh, this is real. <laughs> I just got books and books and books and since then I learned how to uh, create things out of paper. <laughs> when I'm in class it's just bored just creating paper. Yeah, that's, paper that's, that's, that's sick. sick. Yeah. Damn. No, it's pretty fun. <laughs> uh, like all, all the things that I, I, I've always loved was uh, art, music, and uh, creative things. Um, creating things, fixing things. Yeah. It, I don't it's know. so important. Yeah, like I, I don't know. I'm, I'm really big on like creating. Like yeah. you know, I can't yeah, create it's just myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like you talk about it, it gets me excited. Like, yeah, like it's sick. Like, it's like, like a inspiration almost. Yeah. Like, to make something. Yeah. It's yeah. just like it's just like just the possibilities are endless when it comes to creating. You know. Exactly. <laughs> like it's just oh man, it's so dope. No, whenever you can get a good chance to create anything, anything like podcast. Or uh, music, or film. Uh, he has some really good freestyles going on. I've, right? I've, heard, them, I've heard them. I've heard them. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. He's hella fun. He's hella. He just comes straight. He just straight out of the dome, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know. That's cool, yeah, man. Freestyle. Yeah, it goes back to like decorating. Like I'll do it, and then I'll be here, and I'm like, damn, bro. Yeah. Cause I, I don't know. I just it just flows, and then I'm like, I'll be here, and I'm like, oh man, I went like that. I sounded like this. Like it's just. And I get more juice. Like, yeah. like, man, I did that. Like, that's I'm gonna keep making. I, like I just sit back and just rewatch them. Like man, I did all this. Like, no, I keep doing it. Keep doing it. Okay, it's fine. Thank you. Man. Practice is always uh, better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. true. Yeah. I kind of. I, I was seeing a thing yesterday. I was hearing my first ones when I first started. To the one I just dropped, I was like, man, I came a long way. The progress. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like I can, I hear how I'm like flowing. Mm -hmm. I'm, like. You know, not, but it was cool because even at that time I still thought like, oh man, that's cool. Like, <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's just to grow, but still keep that. Yeah. It was like, I guess the to see your pr progress and you know, yeah, and just stay stay happy and the whole like the whole thing. The process is always the best. Yeah, it is helpful. Or it is fun. <laughs> Did you remember in, in middle school or high school that people would think that you and Priscilla were like brother and sister? <laughs> I remember that really. <laughs> Cause you guys had the same last name. Same last name. Wow. No, I even thought that she was like like part of my family. Like, Are you from like one of my uncles or something? I'm like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I remember that. She was hilarious. Now oh, those were the days. And, um, do you guys remember the Renaissance? 
Dude, Renaissance. <laughs> that was like the one thing everyone wanted to go to. Everybody looked forward to it. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah, that's, yeah. Like, that's what the gold and the silver and the bronze, right? Yeah. <laughs> I only got to go once, and I, I think it was a bronze. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. like, I was a yes. bronze kid. Yeah, I was a bronze kid. I always wanted, the, I always wanted the gold. I ended up always getting the silver. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was that was crazy days. I was so I'll, I'll be honest though. The only reason I wanted to go was because I, I don't know. The school hasn't been my like forte yeah so the only reason i would want to go to renaissance is just because i didn't have to be in class I'd be like, right, <laughs> same thing same I'd thing like, i'm out i'm like oh i'm going to renaissance i'm out <laughs> See you another song. Too. but it, i mean it's fun like it's hella cool yeah. like the whole ceremony yeah but that was just my intent i was like if i can get out of class <laughs> oh, Damn, Lord, that was the best yeah. any way to get out of the class was the- <laughs> I, was really I feel like all the schools should do that like because like it really pushes you too yeah like, yeah. like it really want to get better yeah, yeah. No, that's a good point. Yeah. We didn't have that. I probably wouldn't be as motivated to do things. Really? Yeah, because it's, it's like you look for you kind. I'm, I'm just me. This is me being competitive, but I was always like always pushing myself to do better. So, like maybe one year I got bronze, so I wanted to my push myself to get silver. Yeah. And then once I got silver, I wanted to get gold. Exactly. So I always wanted to just. It was a way for me to improve myself. Yeah. Exactly. I wasn't really looking at other people, but rather myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just it just and it's interesting to see that you know everybody else coming up or coming or going dropping a level or going up yeah. you'll see silver go into bronze or some of the people from bronze go to gold shit like that yeah interesting yeah yeah, yeah. shit was fun though you guys remember um, the academies in Mount Diablo dude oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. was in a I don't even know if I was even in an academy because it was academy not academy <laughs> to this day I still don't know which one it was fame. Oh, fame. fame! I remember that. Fame one. was an academy, but not an academy. It was like an academy adjacent. Yeah, that the same thing happened to me when I got into uh, Aha. Oh uh, yeah, I remember uh, Art Academy. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh man, I just, uh, man. Were you ever yeah. in it? No, no I, was, I mean, don't get me wrong. I was kind of like, I mean, it's not messed up, but I was kind of like a douche about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on that one, not in a bad way. It's just like I always laugh about it, like because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. called Aha. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, so like, <laughs> <laughs> like cause uh, my daughter's mom, she was in it. Oh, so I was like that, that's how I would tease her. Like, <laughs> like she just look at me like. <laughs> but no, I liked it because I, I did a ceramics class with Miss Begner. Miss Begner, she was awesome. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah, she's cool. She's man, she's hella nice. She uh, she, cause uh, my daughter's mom was pregnant at the time, and mm-hmm. we were in the class together. So she was cool. She's like, if you want, you guys just do one project and. That's it, you know? Nice. Yeah, like, we didn't have to, like... It wasn't separate. It was, like, you two or one project. So okay. it made, like, a little easier. That's nice. it. She's she cool, was man. She's really cool. Wow. Yeah, she was, like... She really understood. So, yeah, I always... <laughs> yeah. 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 Was one like, of the many cool. teachers I missed. <laughs> yeah. It was back there. Uh, there was an English teacher. Wasn't there like a wood shop, wood shop teacher? He yeah. Kind of cool. Mr. Seaman. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> God, Reagan I knew he had a funny name. Reagan Seaman. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was in that one for a year. <laughs> I wish I could have gotten that academy in a way, but I'm I'm kind of happy I stuck with uh, Aha, yeah. the art academy, yeah, even right. though it just lasted for like about a year. Yeah, right. It was like yeah. And yeah. same with Fame, it didn't really last. Yeah, apparently after. After I graduated, it lasted like a year or two more, and then it just kind of dissipated. Um, it was Mr. Reynolds, Miss Ennis, and Miss Kramer. Yeah, they were. And, the, and it's funny because, like, supposedly the debate was whether or not uh, the art academy could either be an actual career for the students. Uh, and nowadays, it's like a big career. Like, you have interior design, you got graphic design, you got uh, computer games. You got mm-hmm. uh, 3D graphics. 3D graphics. It uh, depends on how you define art, I guess, right? So, yeah. like, I guess if you're like painting something, you can still do it big, but it's gonna take you a lot of shit to work. I know, but like, uh, if, if other you're... stuff that's yeah, they're not they're just missing it though entirely. I agree with you on that. Like, yeah. like, I have I have conversations like that. Like, I'll be like, oh, I'm do like I don't know music, anything that's creative, or like art. Yeah. And they're always like, oh, that's not a career. How are you make money? It's like. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Just build a business behind it. Yeah. One of my scene or yeah, one of my true. projects in uh, the art academy is that I was wanting to get into uh, architecture, and like, oh, that's I mean, right. you did. Oh, come on, like, who builds your buildings? It's artists. Was drawing it, yeah. 
people who are really creative and you're trying to like not sponsor an art academy yeah yeah, it dep- yeah they were, i guess yeah. they were viewing art as woo woo when it was in fact if you want to be really technical like art is actually one of the few things that makes us more likely to have careers because what's happening with automation yeah. is all these jobs that are usually that are very like repetitive yeah. jobs mm-hmm. they're, they're gonna be obsolete like i don't know when but it's, it's coming yeah that that and you know it's part of human nature that we always improve you know we always have industrial revolutions you know or else we'd be fucking plowing wheat with the fucking scythe you know yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying we always sense. have <laughs> technology improves our lives and we need to adapt yeah. you know it, it makes our lives better but it also you know we just need re- 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 to we need to redefine what a job is and mm-hmm. that stuff you know yeah. yeah plus a robot can't doesn't think what i think can't create what i think no so it depends you can t- you can send a command to a 3D printer and it can print something and it created something, but you thought of the creative. Does that make sense? Yeah. It yeah. creates what you could. What I create. Yeah. yeah. But at the end, it's like, I don't know, yeah, that one. You're still that, the that creators. Com- yeah, that conversation, yeah, that one I, I like, yeah. I really think about it. I'm like, whoa, what do you mean you can't make a career? Like, oh, school. I don't know. Yeah. There's, always, always been like that. there's always yeah, there's always a debate about it. Yeah, that's why I, it's not, I listen to them. You know, like when they tell me their point of view, like the perspective, I'm like, I hear it. I'm like, you got it all wrong. I don't agree with it. Like, yeah. You got it all wrong. Like, yeah, yeah. Because art can definitely be a career. Yeah, it's the best one. <laughs> it really is. Just For think real. about the movies. Like, think about you know VR. Yeah. VR is coming. You know, Man, Oculus. Have you seen the new Oculus? No. Have you seen the movie um, Ready Player One? Yeah. That's an awesome no, VR I love that movie. I get, no, I get the movie. It's, I think that's a game. Yeah, and it had a lot of nostalgia inside. It was really cool. It reminds me of like 007 or something. Just like, yeah, like yeah. some golden eye. Golden eye, yeah. <laughs> Do you guys remember the one movie Iron Man? No, no, Iron Man. Um, the Iron Giant. It was a cartoon, right? Yeah. It was like a big old robot with a little kid. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen it, but I've seen I don't know it. Yeah. He's in the um, the Iron Giant. Is in the Ready Player One. No way. Oh he's, yeah, he's fighting, dude. Ready Player One. Along with other great characters. No, no, no. I heard so it's about, it's about like That's it's it. about a kid who um, he it's about pretty much like a dystopian future where most people live their lives in virtual reality because the outside world is such a Crazy. It's like it's pretty crazy. Like it's like it's crap. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> crappy. Like he's living like a, a really tall like apartment, like on like like dumpster pretty much, and like the really rich have like ivory towers and have like nice cities, and all the poor live like in the dump. Drones everywhere. Yeah, and he's trying to. And there's a contest in the VR, and he's pretty much trying. You, you go through an adventure with him of him trying to win a contest, and he struggles with his own self and like poverty and why you need to go to VR and what kind of life you need to live and things like that. It's pretty interesting. I actually heard the audiobook. Oh, really? Yeah, I had the audiobook a year before I read, before the movie came out. I'm like, wow, it's pretty true. A lot of the stuff was true. It was pretty similar. Yeah, pretty much. And some of the stuff they actually show, like the VR stuff, like I don't, I don't, the one scene where he's like running on like a treadmill. Oh, yeah. That actually exists. Oh, it does? Yeah, it does. I've seen a video about it. It is still in the works. Um, on the movie, they made it seem like it was like all the latest thing. Yeah, I know in Oculus, uh, the new one, I think it's called Oculus Go. You put on the VR, and then you can you can draw a perimeter, like like your virtual reality perimeter. Yeah. And then you can like play like games and shit. Yeah. You can do like boxing. You can do like like fun stuff. It's only like 400, 300, 400 bucks. Yeah. It's hella cheap. So you can play like I think you can play Doom and shit like that too. No, that stuff would have been awesome when Call of Duty came out. Imagine just playing real life. Dude, it's still I think it's still like a game changer. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, imagine like you meeting with your friend across the world in a movie theater, like virtual reality wise. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. That, that's yeah. it. Like, yeah. No, and they're really pushing the whole hologram thing nowadays. Uh-huh. Like, there's a lot of great hologram projects that are like really getting out there. Dude, they did that guy in hologram, Tupac. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, Coachella. Yeah, Coachella. Yeah. They did yeah, Tupac yeah. in a hologram. They also did 
like two other people, I forgot who, they're, and they're like creating like people. Like it's weird because they, they, they sound and look real, yeah. but they're not. <laughs> Crazy how the world's changing nowadays. Dude, technology. Yeah, that's good. I never would have thought in, I never would have thought in high school we would have virtual reality and hologram and shit. No. Smartphones. <laughs> I mean, do you remember in high school? It was mostly iPods yeah. and flip phones. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. And, and then like, when we heard that uh, um what was it what's his name? Um Steve Jobs wanted to put the things together, we were like, Oh, he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I and knew, now we have like smartphones now. I I internal I intuitively knew internet was going to be on a phone, but I didn't know it was going to be that big. Because mm-hmm. when we had the sidekicks and the things where you oh, can yeah, access the awesome. you can access the internet, but it would it would charge you like incredibly mm-hmm. insane mm-hmm. amounts to access the internet. Yeah, it was just like a little. Yeah, it was uh, fucking a little tiny one, dude. Yeah. It was a sidekick. It Barely was can little, see a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You had know, like <laughs> yeah, like a little keyboard though. It was cool though. And tight and shit. Yeah, exactly what you were saying. Yeah. yeah. They were cool. I had like one where the screen was really tiny and then you flip it over and then the keyboard was there. <laughs> Man, those things are awesome. Oh, um, they've actually brought back the flip phone with oh. the racer. Uh, I don't know if you've heard. Razor. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Razor. Yeah. That's something I haven't heard in a while. <laughs> it's still cool. I mean, um, uh, have you ever you guys seen this one guy? Go ahead. Name uh, Unbox. Uh, it's a channel called Unbox Therapy. Mm-hmm. Okay, he does like the awesome uh, tech reviews. And the latest uh, tech nowadays is foldable screens. What the hell? Yeah. Like screens can now fold. What the heck? Yeah. And um, you know how they brought out the Samsung Fold and uh, Huawei uh, also folds. It's a new uh, cell phone that you can... How does it fold, fold in or is it- like you can fold it like it, it's a phone and then you fold it out and it's a tablet what yeah that's it and the cool thing about it they've implemented that into the new razor phone and you have the flip phone back with the uh smart screen so it's, it's a smartphone yeah, but yeah. it's a flip phone what? so if you're like really into those flip phones you know you can still use them so you can go back to it yeah that's man you know how crazy you would look i know uh, right? you'll be like the only one yeah just like i'm gonna flip <laughs> that's not a bad idea actually <laughs> it really isn't yeah and then there, I think they've also been wanting to like implement the foldable screens onto the wrist you know how it's just like one little cube yeah. screen but now with the foldable screens uh, you can actually wrap it around your wrist man did they try to do that with, was it Samsung but then it broke or something it yeah broke? it was still it was still kind of like a beta kind of thing oh, uh-huh. and uh, they have kind of like a screen protector but it wasn't a screen protector but everybody thought it was so they almost everyone tried to peel it off and whoops <laughs> okay i just remember that it was it, it, it's like a phone and then you flip it like a, and then turn like it looked like a, a tablet yeah but it like it was super like malleable it's super like you can just with enough strength you can just go you know crack <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's really it's really new tech and um, yeah. the foldable screens. Oh, Samsung has also brought out a foldable TV where it's just like one bar and the screen just folds right out. Dude, that's crazy. No yeah. more flat screens. It's foldable how, how screens. Much, how much did they do they go? Do you know? Like, did they say price wise, or they were just like explaining it? Uh, I wouldn't know. Do you know how much space that would give me? I know, really. Uh, I don't know how much they probably go for, but. Seeing that it's new tech is pretty. Money. I would pretty never high. recommend buying the first generation. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, saying. Yeah, no, 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 probably no. Wait, like wait, third generation. Yeah, yeah, wait for like at least three, four generations down the line. Yeah, you guys are right. Yeah. <laughs> let, no, the, no, let, the, let the let the let the people that have all the money buy the, the stupid shit first, and then once it gets slower, then we can buy the better technology. Learn their trial and error. Yeah, exactly. Do you remember those big block TVs? Oh man, yeah, everybody yeah. used to have. You know how heavy those are. <laughs> yeah, that shit was hella heavy. <laughs> I think I used to have one of those in my house. It yeah, was crazy. we were growing up, man. They were hella expensive, and now they're fucking obsolete. I don't know. Now it's all flat screen. Yeah. Do you remember? It is, it is, it's just hella light. Yeah. Really? I mean, I've done a lot of moving in my life, so. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man. Dude, the fucking. Can I go move the TV next? Like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it was either this or a projector screen. <laughs> right. That's true. That's true. Yeah, projector be sick too. Yeah. Damn. No. That's sick. 
technology is it's made life easier and also I don't know you could say a little complicated but also it's, it's like a bad it's awesome. like a weird relationship with the people it's yeah. like a complicated relationship <laughs> yeah. 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 no I, um Facebook uh, status hopefully you guys have seen Back to the Future oh yeah which one yeah. first one two one two or three all of them yeah, well, I'm, uh, second one where like, they go to 2015 <laughs> and they make those shoes that tie themselves yeah the Nikes those are real nowadays <laughs> yeah they actually yeah. the movie so it's funny because the movie predicted it then somebody actually made something based on the movie and now it's real that's sick <laughs> no and they also predicted that we would be talking on screens 2015 we were already talking on screens yeah based on it's crazy, crazy how many things they predicted and they came true. That's it. Still waiting on those hoverboards, though. <laughs> <laughs> they're real. The hoverboards are real. They can go up to like. The yeah, there, there's people who actually yeah. made hoverboards. That, um, it's like an uh, electromagnetic hoverboard, and but you need like a copper sheet on the bottom. Yeah, you do. And you're hovering on it. Is it like real hover or is it just like that? One it, inch? It's real hover. I mean, it, it's like <laughs> it's like yeah. an inch, but you're hovering. <laughs> Yeah. It is like the basis of covering, I guess. Yeah. So you know, you're creating soon we're gonna be seeing people field, flying right? around yeah. skateboards. Man, that's even fresh. <laughs> For real, you just go like, I'm gonna go hover real quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, and everything uh, nowadays going electric, uh, electric scooters, electric bikes, electric cars. Wow. Yeah, wait, why not? Yeah. We need to figure out how to. Like, Back then, you had to push your own scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day. I don't know. <laughs> When I was a kid. With the razors? <laughs> yeah, those yeah. were sick, man. Yeah, those were sick. Razors. Everybody Do you remember those little, those little, like, those little tiny, like, mini... Tech decks? <laughs> yeah. I love yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those the little tech skateboards. Decks. I just would always like, play with them. I just say, like, classmates. I'm in the desk, just playing with us. Yeah. Like, Dude, those were my I, childhood days. Back yes, when I used yeah. to live in Concord, uh, me and my cousin would, like, always hang out outside and make, like, ramps and just... I'd be like roller, a roller skating, he'd be on his bike or skateboard. And we'd just be Damn messing around. That's sick. Heck yeah. I remember Juan would always have one. Yeah. That's how he would always do like tricks and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, he was like the best. Dude, dude he around. was like doing like crazy like hand shit. It was hella sick. Not just hand, like real actual stuff. I seen, like, yeah, he, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's a dope He skateboard. works really hard yeah. on his stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's really good. He's cool, man. I haven't <laughs> seen the guy in a while. Dude, he, him and. Him and uh, Fuego, yeah. Yeah, they, they do a lot of uh, sync, like they rap and everything. Oh, really? Yeah, cool, they man. have some songs. Yes. He's pretty talented. Yeah, he, yeah, he's dope. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Well, homie Jay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, always, I've always also been into that um, that side, the skater side. Like uh, roller skating and skateboarding. Yeah. Extreme sports. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we were talking about skateboarding. Did you remember when Tony Hawk, the game, came out? I think so, yeah. Tony Hawk Pro Skater, where you're like, you're you're pretending to be like a skater, and you gotta skate like, there's one where you gotta skate like in San Francisco and the Embarcadero. Oh, really? Yeah, and you like, every time you do something, it like creates a chain reaction, like, wow. you skate on the ship, and then the ship will like go sail, and shit like that. It was hella wow. fun. Wow. Yeah. I never played it, but I heard about it. Yeah. yeah the graphics are hella funny. Those games are sick. Wow. And, I, and I then when you the fall, and like, he hurts, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that shit was cool. hella fun, bro. Now that with VR, imagine. Dude, VR. Yeah. Damn, yeah, you're right. That's hella sick. Actually, like, <laughs> I would do like Lombard Street. Street. You know how it's like that? Oh, yeah, yeah that would be that fun. Street. I've gone through there, gone through there a, few, uh, a few times in my car. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Really nice. It's funny, I used to work. I used to work for a startup that did robot deliveries. Oh, really? Yeah. I've seen those robots uh, one time in uh, uh, Walnut Creek. Oh, have you? Yeah, every time I was like maintaining one or two buildings, I see a random guy following a robot. I'm like, this is new. <laughs> yeah, we were, um, we were trying to, we were doing this, I don't know how, how much I can say, but it almost advertised. We were doing, we were trying to do like, we were trying to have the robots on the golf courses. Oh, yeah. And we wanted to do like drink delivery and stuff like that, but we found out the hard way that we can't compete with the car girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you ain't taking my job. <laughs> Let's just say old men plus young woman equals really bad, like 
Very hard to compete. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah we, a lot of them would joke around, like, if we throw a skirt on the robot, maybe we'd order more. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Because it was the truth. <laughs> wow, yeah. It was hilarious. But anyway, in one of the golf courses, they actually have... It was in Livermore. They actually have a... Uh, if you're going from one hole to another, they have a, like, they have... It was between the eighth and the ninth hole, I think. They have the food stand, and then right before it's like a lumbar street, and it, it literally goes like that, zigzags up to the tenth hole. Wow! It was sick. Yeah, that's that's cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Sick. Did you ever play golf? Huh? Did you ever swing? Did you uh, play? a long time ago, like, cause my mom used to, when she was with this other guy, she she was married with, he used to play a lot of golf, and he kind of taught me how to putt and like how to swing I don't remember how to swing shit all I remember is how to put <laughs> that's my favorite part yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know mini golf and shit but it's been a while yeah I've always actually yeah. wanted to play actual golf I played mini golf I remember um, in Clayton Clayton Road yeah. yeah there used to be a mini golf course there. yeah there used yeah. to be and yeah, I was they, like we super we went there, went there once yeah, 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 we yeah. went to one it was it was an indoor one. I don't know if really. Oh yeah, the the ghost. Yeah. Yeah, I never went to that one, but I was I knew the other one that was by the pizzeria. Oh okay. Yeah. The, by Chuzar? No, there oh. was a there's a pizzeria that's always been there like forever, <laughs> and behind it there was a mini golf course. Oh really? Yeah, my dad used to take me there. Oh nice. And I, I, I loved it because of the little figures and stuff. Yeah, that's hell just fun. putting around. Yeah, we, we actually went one time, I think, before, and then it went out of business <laughs> a few yeah. years later. Yeah. We went, we went, like, we're like, hey, let's just try it out. And this is, we actually caught up, we caught up with each other um, when we were going to LMC. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and we were just, like, chilling or whatever, and we went to that. It was like, a, it was, yeah, it was indoor, it was, like, all neon lights. Oh, it yeah. was sick, dude, it was fun. Wow. I wish I could have gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should do, we should do it. There we go. Mini golf. Yeah, we should we just set that set that up. <laughs> There's a pretty good mini golf course out in uh, Fairfield. What the heck? Yeah, they have uh, like go karts and arcades and everything. Is it by like the Jelly Belly Factory? I think goes by yeah. Uh, I always yeah. wanted to go to the Jelly Belly Factory too. <laughs> <laughs> I've never gone either. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah, I've yeah, never yeah, been. Too, no. Like I remember, uh, I think my one of my cousins and my sister going to the Jelly Belly. I'm like, why they can go and I can't go. <laughs> I always wanted to see how they make the jellies. And when you and when you do the tour, you get you get to try out different flavors. Yeah. Like new flavors and shit. No, uh, they also have the those weird uh, jelly bellies that yeah, taste yeah. like actual boogers or. Oh whatnot. really? What the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm like, like that's crazy. Whoa, yeah. what? Like you either get the good one or you get like this weird taste. Oh, like, like the mystery flavor. Yeah. You don't know what you're that, that bamboozled. I think it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, crazy. <laughs> I, I saw those on a channel called Bad Nineteen. What is that? It's uh like they make a uh, they sh they're like uh, they're pitch uh, sales pitchmen. Um, but they're like really creative with how they pitch their items. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things, one of the items was the bamboozle. <laughs> yeah, that's all it's that's sick. Sick. And <laughs> I've been wanting to uh, say that the, I think I found your um, doppelganger on that channel. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a guy that looks spot on that. <laughs> I got a doppelganger, yay! Okay. <laughs> no, <okay. laughs> yeah, yeah. Is there, is there, is there that on the side? <laughs> <laughs> You can go to work for me, and I'm gonna go <laughs> travel. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, dude, the Jelly Belly Factory. I've always wanted to go. You have to, do you have to schedule? Or can you, is it walk in? Um, not sure, really. But I guess you could call and just ask. That's true. Yeah, yeah that'd be good. Job. We'll go off one day. <laughs> that'd be dope, yeah. Do mini golf, do some go karts. Yeah. No, sick. speaking about go karts, have you guys ever gone to um, what is it? Uh, Forget what the name is called. Is it's it like new electric go karts. Uh, electric what? Really? Uh, I don't have some in Great America. Is, there's, I think there was one. I forget what the name is. Is it called like Race One or something like that? 
something like that. Uh, speed, speed one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. I've gone there. It's, it's really cool. I've only gone now to San Francisco, but I believe they opened one now in Livermore. <gasps> Oh, sick. Yay. So it's pretty good. That's it. It's not too far. Too They're really far. fast. Dang. <laughs> Electric is better than water. <laughs> yeah, really. Wait, is it? Is it? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Damn, man. I always wanted to do go karting. I think that I've been I've done once in Great America. But oh, I'm really right. bad at <laughs> making those turns. Oh, yeah. I have a hard time, like, turning. Yeah. At the bumble cars? <laughs> <laughs> I totally remember the bumble cars in the Pier 39. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a yeah, long yeah. time ago. Damn. Man, I, I missed those. Can't believe they took them out. Maybe the bumper cars. That was a long time ago. That was like the one thing I always wanted to do every time I went to the Pier 39. Bumper cars. I took a day a long time ago. I took a day. There's like a mirror maze. Have you been to that? Mm, it's only like 10, 15 bucks. In Pier 39? No. You like it's it's fucking crazy. It's a dark room, and you it's it's just as as like what it sounds. Mirrors. Yeah, so you have to like you have to figure out how to get out of it. it wow. It's hella fun. That'd be yeah. fun. It's only like 10, 15 bucks to go. Nice. It's, it's fun. Yeah, I recommend you guys. Yeah. Great thirty nine. Oh, the other thing is uh, the one theater that they have there, the four D theater. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's a cool place. You been there? A few times. <laughs> it's fun. They changed the movie things, right? I think so. That makes sense. When I was younger, I was like super scared of the seats because, like, supposedly they move them. Like, oh, where am I gonna go? <laughs> <laughs> they have that in Great America, I think. With, oh yeah, they do. Yeah, with the SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when it used to be Paramount in Great America. Paramount. Yeah. And it used to be um, Top. Now it's called what is it? Flight Dark. It used to be called Top Gun. Top. Oh yeah. They, they took out Top Gun? Yeah, because it's not... It's it's called Flight Deck now. Oh, wow. Because... Oh, they just changed the name. Yeah, they just changed the name because it's not no longer Paramount. Oh, Paramount yeah, owns... Yeah. yeah. Wow. So who owns it now? Just... No, no, no I don't know. Right, they just call it Great America company. now. Yeah, they're coming in here. No, it's still I, fun, though. Yeah, I remember hearing about Drop Zone. Dude. And I remember yeah. when uh, when Drops we went, uh, I think it was, I don't know if it was with Glenbrook or high school. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember Glenbrook. Yeah. Eighth grade? Yeah, yeah, it was with Glenbrook, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we went with yeah, uh, yeah. Glenbrook. <laughs> and I went on yeah. Drop Zone for the first time. Oh, crap. Whoa. Damn. That was crazy drop. That's a yeah. drive that you'll never forget. <laughs> yeah, I remember screaming all the way down. No, it wasn't all the way down. I was just like, like yelling. And like, I had to stop like... <gasps> <laughs> ah, it was taking that long to drop. I was like, oh, damn. The, an- the anticipation is worse than the drop. Yeah. Because you're up there and you don't know when it's going to drop. No, but the adrenaline is awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love and then it. all of a sudden, gravity just takes over. Just, yeah. <laughs> I still got I still got to keep that on my bucket list. The drop up? I've never done it yet. No. Dude, you oh, should do really? it. Just at least once. Uh, once. Yeah, just, right. just once. That's all it takes. I don't know, dude. Dude, we. we uh, I don't know if I told you this, but. I won, uh, I won tickets from a radio show to go to uh, Great America, really? and I was able to take in in Winterfest, bro. It's sick. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it was yeah. Sick. yeah. I won it on a radio contest. I never win anything, so it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Um, dude, I was able to take in, and we went. Dude, it's sick as fuck, dude, because they have like they have like polar bears. They decorate the entire park. They have a, cri- a giant Christmas tree. I think they have an ice rink. Oh, nice. And people, you can do like ice skating, like in the front of the park. It's sick, dude. Well, highly actually, recommend. Yeah, I really would like to go there. <laughs> dude, it's highly recommended. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah. And then, and then we tried, I think, a new ride. Did we, did we go on that ride? Or was it still in progress? Which one? The one with the one, one rail? No, 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 no. You've you been on it. I've never been on it. They have this new ride in, in Great America where it's one rail. You're like, there's like, you're in like, instead of, you know how the carts usually they have two seats? Yeah. It's like, instead of two seats, it's one long seat. Oh, wow. So it's one person facing the other. Oh, yeah. And it's one rail. So you're like, on, you can feel like you're, it feels like you're about to fall off, but you're not. It's just, <laughs> oh, and it's hella fast, bro. Wow. It's hella sick. I'd like to try that. Yeah, bro. I tried the, um, in uh, Six Flags, the one main coaster at the entrance. I tried that one. Oh, yeah? That's fun. Oh, yeah? When it shoots you out and you just like uh, corkscrew out into the, <laughs> into the crowd. <laughs> 
Yeah. Vertigo Velocity or something like that? That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. That, that one was, is sick. That was nice. Damn. Yeah, that one's cool. The Joker. Joker. The Joker's sick. I like this one, too. The Joker. Yeah, the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> like the purple. I think it's the purple and green yeah. roller coaster. Yeah. I like that. I've heard they have like also put some new rides that I haven't even yeah. tried out yet. They got Wonder Woman, uh, Lasso of Truth. And I think the newest one was Batman or something. I think so. Yeah. yeah. It's all DC. Wow. It's all sick though. Speaking of, have you seen? Did you see the Joker movie? Not yet. Hot Queen Finn. Oh, bro. Oh, yeah. You're missing out. That shit is sick. Wow. It's a good movie. Like he does a really good job, like playing somebody who's crazy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta watch that one. It was like the origin story of Joker. Wow. Even though it's not part of the DC universe, it's like it's, its own thing. But it, it makes it's it's a different take on a Joker, yeah. a more realistic version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I seen the trailer. It says it looks pretty good. Yeah, that dude, that dude did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just that character. Yeah, His character is such a cool. I, I like that character a lot, even though he's kind of. Insane. <laughs> on, edge, on edge, yeah. On edge. Because he, he, like, I guess he came from humble beginnings, and then he makes you, he makes you think about, like, your decisions. He's, like, a bad, neutral character. Oh, yeah. He's not totally crazy, but he's, he is crazy. Yeah. He's out there. <laughs> yeah. Like, what was it with Batman? What's the one where he has, like, one, like, people on a boat, and people on a, he has, and he's trying to make Batman choose who he saves and who he... Uh, the Dark Knight? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know what I'm talking about? He's like, yeah, yeah. He has like a bomb or something. He has yeah. the j uh, jail people on a boat. And mm -hmm. then the, like a one person or something. Yeah, it's like it's Batman's Batman Batman has to choose. Yeah. And that's like, that's like a common, um, that's a common debate in philosophy. Like, how many would you say, would you, would you kill one person to save a hundred? Like, yeah, moral really. debate. You know that yeah, it's yeah. always a... It's like, would you kill Hitler to save every, like everybody else? Stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. And they played that in that movie, that moral... Moral like, decision? Yeah, you have to like, yeah, choose. Yeah, they did it really good. Yeah. Like, you're like so sucked into it. You're like, <laughs> what is he going to do? Yeah. I don't know, that movie Because it was sick. happening almost at the same time. Yeah. It was happening at the same time. And he has to choose, like, in the clock, the wire's going down, and, like, he has to make friends and enemies and all that. It's like... <laughs> like that movie was like the one movie I was just like The Dark Knight yeah, yeah I was like was. I can't believe I just watched this so like I was like so amazed when did that come out? I forget like 2000 like around 2008 2009 yeah, oh, like wow. something like that yeah damn yeah it's been like, over 10 years Those movies are I remember cool. when The Hangover <laughs> do you remember when The Hangover first came out? Uh, yes yeah, when we first got to see it <laughs> yeah <laughs> I remember that one <laughs> dude that shit was so funny <laughs> I still haven't watched the second part. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> <laughs> the first one is always the best. Yeah. That was fun. Dude, that shit's crazy. That'd be a wild story. Yeah. You lose all your friends. <laughs> you <laughs> <weren't> missing. One wild goose chase. Dude, I remember that. What's that? that Asian guy that, that actually used to be a doctor. Oh yeah, yeah, I seen the guy on YouTube. Yeah, he I'm actually like, used to what? be a real He's a doctor. doctor. He used to be a real doctor. He was hilarious on that movie. Yeah, he was. I was <laughs> like, what the heck? How did he got in that movie? <laughs> yeah, really. He was hilarious. I, you should you should hear him on YouTube uh, answering medical questions. He's yeah. funny. <laughs> He's hilarious. <laughs> David something, right? I think so. Yeah. Dude. He's hilarious though. Good times. Nostalgia. <laughs> oh, nostalgia. Man, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. What do you think? What's on your mind? No, it's just, just the mind. Oh, because you, you said nostalgia, so then I was like, yeah, but then there's still more memories to make, too. Yeah. They're just sick. Like, right now. This is a memory right here. Yeah. It's crazy. It's even sick. Dude, we're into 2020 and new decade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? That was weird. Yeah. So, who? So, I, I guess it's a uh, poll in March? March 3rd? 
Oh, what, to, to vote for Pon Bernie? Uh, or I guess so. I guess the... What is that? I don't know. Huh? I forgot what he said. It was like a... <laughs> it's cool. It's like a pre-electoral or whatever. Oh. Or not electoral, I'm sure. Pre, uh... Damn, Bernie pre supporters... Pre for the candidate? Yeah. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Damn, Bernie supporters going strong. Yeah, oh, really? that's the first time. Yeah, I never heard that. I never yeah, heard that. came here. Yeah. <laughs> But it makes sense, you know, because I'm not like, I don't have a party or anything, a preference. Mm -hmm. But they're like, they're trying, trying, to, they're trying to convince me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, this whole pol politics. Yeah. 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 So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I've never voted. Like, never. Never, never. Never, 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 never. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> <laughs> it's just interesting to see, like, there's a fight going on over here. Maybe you should be fighting. These two should be fighting, but it's not happening. Like, they're like the Democrats are killing each other while they should be focusing on fighting off, or not fighting off, but you know what I mean, like yeah. debating, to see who has the most. Yeah. Instead of like, I mean, I guess you know everybody has their opinions, their values, so that's why like they'll argue with each other. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's for the greater good. I think everybody should just rejoice or figure something out. I don't know. This whole political system is just like. It's been we're we've been using the same thing since seven was it 1776. Yeah, yeah. But that's when we had 13 colonies and we were very small. Maybe we need to diversify our portfolio a little bit and change it a little bit. Yeah, right. Having Congress and all that is not working so far. So maybe we gotta throw in some scientists. Throw in some. We need to balance something out. <laughs> yeah. So we'll, we'll see how what happens. So I guess elections this year, right? 2020? Huh? Elections so, this yeah, yeah, this year in 2020. Yeah. November. November, whatever that day is. The first Tuesday of November. <laughs> we start, we're going to start uh, asking for, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Days off. I'm sorry, Dude. I need this day off. Change.org. <laughs> we need I'm, to do I'm it. I'm just bring it up at work. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, you know, different countries, they take the day off on. <laughs> it's the federal holiday, bro. Just do it. Just, well, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We should do it. We the people, boss. <laughs> Get people to vote. I mean, I think that's the, that would be the easiest way to do it. Yeah. The people actually, they might be more involved, too. Maybe. Yeah. Cause you're giving them, you're giving them something, so maybe they'll think about it more. Yeah. So, I never understood like it's kind of going off topic, but I never understood like the whole like holiday goes on a Wednesday and you gotta come back on a Thursday and Friday. I never that doesn't really tend to work out very well. <laughs> yeah, it's just, they should just give us the whole week, like, you know? Yeah. Like it, pay all those days. <laughs> well, I think that's what they should do in school. It'd be like Thanksgiving, we get that Wednesday. To the week off. Yeah. I think it would go like Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, yeah Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, the week off. That was cool. I never understood that, like, where you go to work for, you're coming to work Tuesday to get Wednesday off, and it's a, let's say it's a major holiday. Yeah, like, New Year's, that's, that's how New yeah, Year's works. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, a yeah. New, New Year's. Year's on Wednesday. Who the yeah. fuck's gonna come back on Friday, or, you know what I'm saying, Thursday or whatever? Yeah. Like, just give them, like, that, just, just finish off that week, you know? Yeah, just like, take it off. Yeah. <laughs> it was good, though, one. It was good, though, one. I mean, I go on bus and like work to work, mm -hmm. but like, it was convenient though, because nobody was around. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mm. like, first I thought it was weird. I'm like, why isn't there nobody? I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> that so, makes sense. Hell, it worked out. You had the whole bar to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, bar has changed. We were talking about this kind of in the last day. Oh, the, yeah, the new train? Huh? Yeah, we were talking about like just bar. Yeah. yeah, I've the, seen, I've the seen new that. Trains, right? I've seen the train. You seen that? It's just sick. Yeah. I actually went like and when they were presenting it, like when they were traveling around with it, and it's pretty nice. That's sick. Super futuristic. I haven't actually like rode in it, but it looks pretty nice. They were they were doing it for a while, like when you're going to like what was it? It was like in the Fremont line, mm -hmm. and this is when I was going to I think I was going to my dad or something, but I, I took it. Like it was, it was coming from Fremont, and then I was going towards, I think, Richmond or something. Mm -hmm. And it, was, that shit was futuristic as fuck. Like, you go on, it's super clean. Like the lights are on. Yeah. Like the the like the seats are like color coded and everything. And then like 
it has a screen. Oh yeah, the smart screen. Yeah, it has a screen. It tells you like where, which station it is, and then it'll tell you like the operator doesn't tell you anymore. It automatically tells you like, oh, we are approaching, you know, Fremont, or we are approaching blah blah blah, yeah. Lake Merritt. It was sick. Nice. Yeah, yeah I seen the one of the biggest features was the automated. Uh, yeah, dude. Um, map. Yeah. Where it will tell you where you are. <laughs> really, you really have to pay attention to the one who's the uh, saying, <laughs> like, okay, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. <laughs> no. Some of these people, they either either like talk really like fast or like, really like, bark, bark, bark. Yeah. And then they're like, what? You could barely understand. You gotta, like, you gotta look at the, you gotta pay attention and shit. I know. Right? You gotta look at the map and be like, okay, so. Yeah. You gotta do like some mental math. Really? <laughs> That's where the days. Yeah. yeah, and you only have like one fucking map out of the entire cart. Like, really, really. <laughs> and everybody's trying to crowd around to see where. I know. At, cause they don't know. <laughs> 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 Do you remember that? Yeah. We were like blocking the whole map. Yeah, because there's no way to The new yeah. bar train, they actually have like little racks to put your bike into. Oh yeah, yeah. They yeah, have yeah. like bike oh, racks. Yeah. yeah, they have bike racks. They had um. There was less seats, yeah, so they had seats. more handles and shit. Yeah, it's hella unique. Yeah, because it's, it's a lot of people coming in. Yeah. From what I heard, they're planning to have way more trains than they currently have. So that's the reason why they have less seats. That makes sense. So they're trying to have more cars running. So less crowds. So, so would it be like run. instead of every 15 and every 10 or something like that? I think so. Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah, yeah I hope, because man, when I hit the traffic times in there, Man, Dude, I'm like this. Yeah, <laughs> you're all packed like so. Dude, you're exactly, like this. Exactly. I've been to the point when I'm like this, like on the fucking, like yeah, yeah. on the glass, like I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> like sardine, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Against the fucking glass of the yeah. of the, of the door. Like, I can't even have a backpack on. I have to put it like between yeah. my legs. I'm like squeezed. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would say that's like the only thing that I don't like about bark, but besides that's all. Yeah. Just hella tight. <laughs> just hella tight. <laughs> well, just those times. Between but, like three and like eight is like the busiest. And between 5.30 and like nine. Yeah, oh man. If you go on like a five, you're cool. If you go at six, forget it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> six, seven, eight, you're done. Have you seen how they've been doing uh, more changes also in the bus? Buses? Like nowadays, there's electric buses. Really? Yeah. I've seen like hybrid bus buses like a while back. But... No, the new stuff is electric buses. Oh, electric. I want to peak. We seen, even seen it out in uh, Pittsburgh. Oh, sick. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like, well, this bus is not making no noise. <laughs> I look at the sound like electric bus. Whoa. Oh, that's sick. Sick. Yeah. Mm. Dang. Electric stuff is going. It's going out there. As long as we don't have a power outage. Oh yeah, that would be that the fucks everything over. Yeah. The bad. <laughs> like we want to electrify everything, but then again, once Dude, uh, when PG something decides happens, to go, boop. like last year, do you guys remember when that shit when the fire? Yeah. They just decided to turn off the power. They did. Dude. No, I have some family members that live out on um, Lafayette. They turned out the power. I was like, yeah. oh, geez. <laughs> you better have like fire and like. Coolers and shit, like. Really, really, really. That's when you mean like generators. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Get just some candles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get like a fire pit going, roast some turkey or something. <laughs> no, it's a good thing that uh, the fires have kind of mellowed down a little bit because I remember like what was it like two years ago? There was like a big old fire and like smoke all over the place. Dude, I remember that. I'd have to wear like a mask. Yeah, exactly. I wore like one of those N95 masks. Oh, yeah. It was bad. <laughs> like the fire was coming out here. Yeah, I remember it lasted like for like weeks. You couldn't see nothing. It was haze. Oh. Man, oh, it's good, man. It has to do with it has it had to do with the drought. Cause before that, we were in like really bad. California has been going through like a big drought. Yeah. During that time, and then I don't know if you know about the bark beetle. No, I don't. The bark beetle goes in, it's like an invasive species oh. and it, it goes into like dead trees and it just, there's nothing, there's nothing to kill it. So it'll just kill a tree. It'll, once oh. it gets inside of a tree, 
it will just destroy it from the inside out. So it will just like get all rotted? Mm hmm And you'll see like a tree, you'll see a, you know, you'll see a beautiful tree that have like leaves. Yeah, that's, that's when you know a tree's alive, when it has mm -hmm. like green leaves and it's, it's very full. Because um, that's how it does like carbon dioxide exchange and everything. Yeah. It'll turn from that to just straight wood. Like, just the tree would just be straight, like nothing. Like, yeah, yeah, dead. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen a dead tree a few times. <laughs> just fucking straight. Speaking of dead trees, like, uh, many times I've gone through Yosemite, you can see, like, way before you get there, you see a whole forest burnt out, and I'm like, it's it like in perspective. Yeah. Right? yeah. But I mean, they say though the yeah. fire is good. It is because naturally because it it removes a lot of the dead stuff, and then also um, it there's something to do with the another something some chemical reaction happening with the soil. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It allows more stuff to grow, yeah. but it's when you have continuous fires that it's not that good. Yeah, I mean, if it gets out of control, it can be mm -hmm. harmful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to, I used to do a little bit of. Um, I used to get. I wanted to become a firefighter, so like. Oh, I man. used to know about the fire Same triangle. Thing. I wanna. I wish if I could actually get into it. Be a pilot, and be an air firefighter. Oh, a jump, uh, smoke jumper. Uh, I think so. Are you talking about the ones that jump out of airplanes? No, 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 no. no. Um, um, the ones that have been mostly around the area dropping chemical. Oh, oh, that's like, well, like a yeah. pilot. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I thought you fun. meant like the ones that jump out of airplanes, parachutes, and <laughs> that would be fun too. <laughs> <laughs> if you're like really into like skydiving, you're like jumping out of a plane every time. Been, they're called smoke jumpers. They're, you have to be experienced. Yeah. But you, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you fucking, they, you go onto an airplane, parachute, and you jump out of an airplane. You go into a place where there's a lot of fire, and you're just trying to clear out dead stuff. Yeah. They send tools down um, through the airplane, and then you're just clearing. Yeah. yeah. You're jumping out of airplanes, clearing dead shit. No, <laughs> I remember many times with the whole fire stuff going on, a lot of those planes would be flying around my area, and like you just see them pass by like super low. Like, they get oh. like, do they get water from the bay, or do they get? Uh, like, um, just... sometimes they get water if like they're out of chemical because mm -hmm. normally they come loaded with chemical yeah they come with like a like a red chemical right yeah and i think uh the helicopters um there's normally like one helicopter that has like a big old bag and it, it goes and it fills out in the bay mm -hmm. and just like dumps water just dumps okay. that's it yeah. <laughs> that's, oh, that's a dope job. Yeah. yeah dude i i thought about becoming a firefighter but it's like no nah. because <laughs> Uh, I mean, you have to be an EMT, and I was I was in a point where I didn't want to do anything medical. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, isn't that like? Well, I don't know how new that is. Where the actual firefighters have to know EMT. Firefighter, if you want to work, so there's different types of firefighters. Um, if you wanted to work for like a municipal firefighter, like city or county, yeah. you it would be. A lot of the fire departments are becoming more paramedic firefighters. Oh. Paramedic slash firefighters. So they can do a duel. Yeah. Um, if, in, here in the Bay Area, from what I understand, from when I was going back to school like three years ago, yeah. you have to be like it's starting to become a, a requirement to become an EMT because most of the things you're going to be doing are EMT based. Yeah, that makes sense. So you're going to be do, because fire, um, like construction fires or whatever, uh, have been going down because of improvements of uh, like sprinkler technology improvements of buildings improvements of that that type of stuff um you'll be, you'll be doing less of that and more like you know heart attack stroke oh, yeah. medical shit like yeah and don't get me wrong you'll have your you're still as a firefighter you're yeah. still going to do like car accidents things like that mm -hmm. um where you have to know like the rules of the road be saving people out of car accidents because people will always be texting and driving yeah. drinking and driving <laughs> really? no matter how many laws you put in um but yeah you have to know like a lot of emt shit and then become a firefighter yeah i mean that makes sense because like every time i i will always see the firefighters come they're like the first ones on the scene yeah. always and then you know, behind them comes the paramedics mm -hmm. yeah. so and they obviously would have to know yeah paramedics. Usually the par usually the firefighters are the first on the scene um, because 
a lot of times they also have to block traffic. So I don't know if you ever noticed on the freeway, a fire, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. firefighter will block traffic for the EMT and for the police. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, they'll block two lanes and then they'll let you know, the other traffic go around. Oh. Because it's fucking dangerous. Don't trust people, even as people are looking and all that, you know, even if you have vests and all that, man, the freeways are dangerous as hell. Because people are, you know, distracted, you know. Yeah. Texting, calling. I saw one guy shave when I was like shaving. He was yeah. he was shaving. Yeah, he must have been in a real hurry. He was shaving. <laughs> yeah. I'm like he had like he had like the foam on, he was like driving and all that. Oh what the Because he was bumper to bumper. He's like, I'll just shave, I guess. But yeah, it's really dangerous, you know. It really is. Because, you know, people are not distracted. Um, but yeah, so that's why firefighters are on the scene. So they, they take care of a lot of that stuff. So um, you have to know a lot of EMT and you have to know a lot of uh, like medical shit. Yeah. And um, as a paramedic, you also have to know a lot about like pharm- pharmacology and how drugs react and things like that. So like, Was it difficult having to get into or study the whole EMT aspect? EMT, so when I was studying... Uh, I was first studying to become an EMT basic. There's mm-hmm. three levels in California, from what I understand right now. There's EMT basic and there's para- EMT paramedic. There's no EMT advance to yeah. between. Um, I was becoming EMT basic, which is pretty much um, requirement. Yeah, it's it's the first tier of being an EMT. Oh. You can become an EMT paramedic if you want. Yeah. You have to go to extra schooling, more licenses. But yeah, you first. First, before you even take the class, you have to have all your immunizations up to date. You have to have, um, you have to take a TB test six months before you do the test, and you have to do all this like medical stuff. You know, get a physical and all that before you even become an EMT. Before you even take the class, you take the class. um, You learn not just like like you have to learn anatomy, physiology a little bit. and then you learn like what happens if this breaks, that breaks. What do you got to do in these situations? What uh, what kind of stints you have to use? What kind of um, uh, how do you, how to take a pulse? What happens? You know, what's the difference between someone going into diabetic shock versus someone going into uh, septic shock? You have to know a lot of like like what happens if something goes wrong and yeah, yeah, yeah. symptoms. A lot of times mask each other, so. Someone who's going into something that's that looks like it's one thing can also look like another thing. Yeah. Wow. And it's really like you have to play like detective, and it just it can be one symptom, and it can change completely. Exactly, and mm-hmm. and how you treat that person can also change um, even positioning of the body, like how you put somebody on a on a bed yeah. can it, can be life threatening. Uh, yeah. Nice. So it's really like, you gotta be really like on top of it. You pass the class, you have to then take a, you have to then take a national registry for EMT. If you pass that, you could be an EMT anywhere in the United States. Nice. Um, you pass that, and then you gotta do, and I, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing a few things. You gotta do a physical exam, you have to do a, um, a DMV, Computer test, mm-hmm. um, and then you have to do here in California. It's really strict. So, ambulance exam. Uh, God, so many things. Immunizations up to date. Um, yeah, and then pass the national registry. Once you pass the national registry, which is like one of the toughest exams, because it starts off easy, and then the more hard questions you get, the harder it gets. Wow. It's an uh, adaptive learning. But the more hard questions you answer, the less questions you have to answer in order to pass. Okay, comparing that test with the exit exam that we had to take, how hard was it? Dude, <laughs> way harder. <laughs> <laughs> the California exit exam, that shit yeah. was a cakewalk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this shit was like, it was rough. It, it, have you guys heard that's not even a part, um, requirement anymore? What? Yeah. My sister went to Mount Diablo. And uh, she didn't have to take it. They, they eliminated it. Yeah. I was like, you don't know how lucky you are. 
But that shit was stressful. Was out. I don't know, really. Because like, if you didn't pass it, you couldn't like graduate. Yeah, you graduate. Maybe a super senior. Yeah, you, yeah, a super senior. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That shit was rough, bro. That was stressful back then. That was a good year, though. <laughs> a fifth year. It was sick. Man, that was cool. Remember, uh, we were we were in a class together when my senior year in his like oh, yeah. fourth fourth year. We were in. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say like. I no, wanna, I like I how you said it. No, I like how you said it. I was like, oh. <laughs> that was cool. In his fourth year, uh, we were we were taking a film class. Remember that, Mr. Reynolds? Mm-hmm. Dude, was he in film? Because I remember that I wasn't in uh, really. All that film, <laughs> dude. It was it was film, yeah. It was film. Oh, okay. We would take, we'd watch a film, or it was a uh, watch movies. Yeah, yeah, that's what I used oh, to hear. Yeah, yeah, it was not, just all movies. Oh, movies. I see what you're not saying. Like, yeah. Not like Mr. Riggs. Did you have Mr. Riggs? No. Okay, his was the actual. I do remember. I don't know who, what his name yeah. was, but I remember one of them. Yeah. Had a big nose. <laughs> <laughs> that's Riggs. <laughs> <laughs> And I remember also, like, uh, he, he lost heck of weight, but his nose was still there. <laughs> Dude, that was funny. <laughs> now, Mr. Reynolds was the guy with the mohawk uh, at the time. Yeah. He would have a mohawk, that's how it's sick. Yeah. But yeah, we would, we would, like, watch a movie, and then we would, like, we had to, we had to write, like, quotes to see that he was paying attention. And then we also had to do, like, we would finish a series of movies, and then we'd do, like, an essay or something. Mm. Like we did one about what is reality or something like that, where we watched Fight Club, um, and uh, D- Dark Donnie Darko and something else I don't remember. Uh, yeah, yeah. And we had to oh The Matrix. Oh, and, that's and then a we good had one. To, we had the to Matrix. like write an essay about uh, if you're in a room, how do you know it's reality? Yeah. And we had to write like like I think it was like a two paragraph thing and we had to like think about and question our own reality to be able to answer that question like how we could be living in the matrix right now we wouldn't even know (laughs) how would you know what what you're doing is real you know i'm saying how would you know what you you know what you see what you what you touch it what your senses are is real yeah that that's some similar to that um one other movie uh inception Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And we actually, did we go as a class? We went to go see the movie. That movie? Yeah, bro. That year it came out. I don't think I went. But he took us like <laughs> to a family trip to go to go to Brendan Theaters to actually go see the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, we were talking about <laughs> that. It was, the Inception movie. Yeah, it was about like around the same time everything was happening. Yeah. That's sick. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. It was sick. So the whole class was basically all about just watching films and talking about them? Yeah, it was about... Okay. I always had it like a, a mentality of thinking that you guys were learning film, no. like pictures and stuff. It was more about like watching movies and analyzing them yeah, and like... Breaking it down. And breaking it down and talking about like character development and like plot and like things like that. Talking more about the movie... Grand gestures. Yeah. Main yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, like it break you break down a movie specifically to every single piece. Oh, no. But we did that for every movie. But it, it was, was fun like, though. Yeah, it was, it, cool. yeah, it was I never, I it never was knew the style of it. Easy. So yeah, that was easy. Yeah, so it helps if you make a movie. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. It, <laughs> I can just follow that. Yeah. So yeah, that'd be good for like filmmakers who are really trying to get into filmmakers. Yeah. I don't know if you guys remember this one dude, um, Thomas. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thomas of traits? Is Tom, that uh, from Filipino guy? Yeah, yeah he has an Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah I follow the guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's always been into film. I remember. Dude, yeah, he's, he's making his movies, movies are cool. Like yeah. I've seen them, they're cool. They're really good. Yeah, I'm open. You need to have him on the podcast, bro. Yeah, I should. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's he's really good. Like he's really creative. Yeah, yeah. I've seen him. Yeah, it's, yeah, good work. Back to the end. Mr. Reynolds' session was crazy. Yeah. I had him for English because I was in the fame. And we would, talking about Fight Club, we would read the book and then watch the movie and then analyze the difference. And he was like really like cool about it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, we would, we talked like we did a whole thing about Fight Club. I forgot what it was about. 
he was trying to like make, he was making it because it part of a requirement of California to do a certain thing, but he was able to mend it like to where Fight Club and that genre of movie fits the California requirement for teaching whatever. Yeah. So we were able to do that. Nice. It was sick. Like in the the, di the difference between the movie and the book, the major difference is in the book. Um, I don't know if you, do you, do you know Fight Club. No, but I have seen a YouTube video. So it, it's about like an, about it. it's about like an insomniac that um, creates like an underground. Fight yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then he goes, he goes, and then he kind of progress. He, he progressively gets more like like paranoid and like a cult. He gets into like an occult and everything. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. He gets like more paranoid and gets his his mentality as an insomniac gets worse and like he, there's this in the movie there's this character and he's like a kind of like an evil genius oh, really? yeah and, and he, it's like I don't want to spoil it but he's he's different in the he's a little different in the book than he is in the movie oh okay I have, have to watch that movie <laughs> yeah it's, it's really good <laughs> I, I'm a fan of Chuck Palahniuk's speaking about fighting um, you guys remember Karate Kid Dude, yeah, yeah. have you guys seen the new uh, remake? Oh, not remakes, but like a new YouTube version of Cobra Kai, right? Something like that. Uh, Kai Bra Kai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cobra Kai. <laughs> Is it good? It's really good. I seen the first one, but they came out with a second one. Mm. I haven't seen that one yet, but I'm, so. oh, I'm betting it's pretty good too. Damn. So. You pay for the YouTube premium thing? Yeah, you have to pay for it. Oh. Um, but yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> you see the old characters and then you see some new faces too. Mm. Sick. Really cool. That's it. Damn, Karate Kid, is that... I remember when they when they came out with the Will Smith kids Oh, version. yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah, kid's yeah. name. That was good on its own. <laughs> <laughs> Not really had to deal with the other ones. It was different, yeah. Have a boy Jackie Chan on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jackie Chan. Bro. That, that guy is, yeah, is cool. Yeah. Remember when Rush Hour 3 came out? Hilarious. <laughs> He's sick of Rush Hour. It's oh. hilarious. He's sick. That's when I was growing up. It was the movies on Rush Hour. <laughs> With uh, Chucky Chan? Yeah, and uh, Tucker. What's Chris Tucker. Huh? Chris, Chris Tucker, Tucker, yeah. yeah. Man, I just want to reference to that. Those movies. <laughs> yeah. Don't you understand the words that come out of my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> They also, uh, I seen that they came out with a new Rambo movie. Oh, oh, did they? Yeah, he's still did. going on with that thing. Yeah, he, he's, he's fighting strong. <laughs> he's still fighting terrorists? <laughs> Damn, bro. No, I haven't even seen it yet, but it looks pretty cool. I know they came out with the sequel of um, Harley Quinn and like Female Squad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At DC. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's like about like Harley Quinn and like, I guess there's like a Female Squad. That's like the newest one that came out? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's out already or if it's coming out. I think it's coming out. The birds, of, I think it's called Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey or some shit like that. Yeah. yeah. It looks cool. Yeah. It looks dope. I guess they decided, do you remember when, what was it called? Death Squad came out? Or was it Suicide Squad? Mm -hmm. I guess they made like a movie off of her. Yeah, yeah Harley Quinn is dope too. Suicide Squad had Will Smith, um, like the Australian girl that plays Harley Quinn. A few other good characters. I it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> but they've been bringing out all them superhero characters lately. Yeah, Marvel. Dude, Marvel. Marvel is set a standard, man. Marvel's really so high. DC is trying so hard, but it's sad to see. Yeah. Uh, they just started. They started telling so well on Marvel. Marvel. Like, yeah. They're all hell sick. So. Yeah. Now that Disney owns Marvel. Shh. Yeah. Oh, damn, yeah. bro. Disney owns Marvel. Imagine. Yeah. Disney owns a lot of shit. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars too. Yeah, they bought George Lucas but, Productions. I, mean, I don't know how you guys might feel, but... They <laughs> might have ruined it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't like the new ones. I like George Lucas' version a little more. I've seen, the, like, the last one. And I guess it was, um... The Darth Sidious came back to life somehow. <laughs> what the heck? I, I won't spoil anymore. Okay. <laughs> I've already said too much. I haven't said. I haven't seen. It. I'm like, who's what? <laughs> no, I'm just like, 
Yeah. I'm just, no, I'm just like done. <laughs> <laughs> After the, the, what's it? What is it called? The Last Jedi? The, one the Last Jedi, oh yeah, The Last Jedi. I was done. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> a lot of people were disappointed with that one, huh? The Last Jedi? Yeah, yeah, a lot of people were disappointed with us. It's funny because South Park made fun of, always makes fun of everything. I love, oh, yeah. I love them. They make fun, they always make fun of uh, Disney. And they make fun of Disney <laughs> by having Mickey Mouse. He's kind of like a dick to everybody. Yeah. But he pretends to be this like happy character. Yeah, and he has he has like a whole line of like all these Marvel characters. Yeah. And uh cause Stan's dad, Randy, I think his name is Randy. Yeah. He does something stupid. <laughs> I forgot what he does. He makes fun of like the Chinese or something. And you know, Disney's trying to like do movies like he's trying to like get China support because they want more money. Oh yeah. Wow. He's like, who the fuck? I'm like, who the fuck is making fun of China? And he, he gets them all around. And then Thor tries to speak up. And then he slaps. Like, you see, like, a little Mickey Mouse character slap Thor. Wow. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and the, I think the episode's called Banned in China. Okay. And, it, and that episode gets banned in China. Because wow. <laughs> cool. it makes fun of the president in China. Oh, okay. It makes fun of him, like, Winnie the Pooh and, like, yeah. Apparently he doesn't like that. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. Apparently <laughs> the Chinese government doesn't like when you when you like make fun of the president. Oh. oh and so yeah. there's like this Winnie because he kind of looks like Winnie the Pooh. Oh. So I see. they're like they, they banned Winnie the Pooh in China like completely banned it like you can't even see it like yeah. censored it and if you like talk about it you can go to jail and shit <laughs> in China. <laughs> I probably won't be able to go to China anymore because I said it. That's <laughs> 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 oh. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because the whole uh, is is Beijing still having those protests? Not sure. You know what's going on with Beijing, right? Uh, no. Like Be- Beijing <laughs> is Beijing is like its own democracy. Oh really? Outside of China, yeah, but. Kind of like what California wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it would have been cool. Kind of, yeah, 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 California being its own country. I think Texas wanted to do that a few times too. Texas wanted to reside from the states. It's like Texas can be some. They got yeah, they got hell I think they're the second biggest state out of. Yeah. First is Alaska, then is Texas, then is California. In that order. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that California was bigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Texas, yeah. Texas is huge. I mean, it's California it. looks. Well, it's yeah, longer, it's, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how Alaska, but Alaska's bigger than both. Alaska's huge. Hell, hell, it's hella massive, and the majority of people like live in tribes, like in the like, yeah, in the border of Alaska. It's crazy. That's it. Yeah. No, then people have to suffer with camp people. <laughs> <laughs> they they somehow them. make it work though. They're like all in tribes and like fishing and food. Really? And yeah. Like that. That's the one way you have to survive is hunting. No other way. There's no other way, dude. You got you got to fish. You, that's all you eat, or or the fucking polar bears or whatever will come and get, try to kill you. Really? <laughs> Giant fucking polar, polar bears. bears. There's this type of polar bears that have been mating with like brown bears or something. I forgot what they're called. They're huge. They're fucking. They're bigger than a polar bear. Mm. I never thought there's like a hybrid between a polar bear and a. I know it's not a grizzly bear, but I think it's a black bear. And they're fucking huge. They're vicious. Wow. They're polar bears are one of the most aggressive animals. They like all <laughs> cuddly and shit. But man, <laughs> they will fuck you up. I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I remember in college, one of my friends, uh, like the, my roommate, I was living in college at the time, he and his dad would go hunt bear. Cause you can, I guess you can hunt a certain type of bear. There's a season for it here in California. Really? Yeah. And if they would hunt it and then kill it, they would kill it. And then um, he, would, he would bring it. Like, wow. like, like a bear, like a bear meat could last you a while though. It'll last you like, it lasted them like hella months. I never thought you could cut a bear. Yeah, there's a certain type, I forgot the type of bear. I don't remember the exact type, but you can hunt it. There's a season for it. Um, or else they, what happens if, if 
the bear population gets too wild, then it'll start to just kill everything. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. It'll kill, like, That's fucking sense. deer, and it'll just kill everything. Oh. So you got to kind of, like, Balance control. Yeah, you got to kind of, like, control. Not control, but, like, you know, have a season for it. Wow. And I thought California was trying to protect bears. <laughs> Some bears, yeah. But then if it gets too wild, then it gets it gets crazy. Like, mm. then you get bears going into neighborhoods. Bears, you know, like. Yeah. I still have yet to see a bear in the wild. Dude, it's crazy. Really? I saw you, one once. You seen one? Yeah, once. Like big one or something? Uh, it was a black bear. Yeah, it was a black bear. We were on a boat in Shasta. Um, cause my mom, and her, her boyfriend, likes to go on boats. Yeah. We just tried it out. And we were we were docking to this one part of Shasta because we were on the water, uh-huh. and I noticed something. I was like, I noticed the deer, like it was like I was here and it was like probably like on the other side of the street. Yeah. So it was about how would I say that like to the like a hundred like thousand feet maybe. Thousand. Okay. Okay. So it was about a thousand feet, and we were docking, and I noticed the deer running away. I'm like, that's kind of weird. Where is it running away from? And then shortly after that deer came, a giant fucking black bear was like right after it. Oh, man. It was like two minutes later and I told everybody, you guys got to get on the boat because if that bear comes over here, it, it can get, it's hungry. It's hungry. And hungry yeah. bears, you don't want to mess with I mean, it's chasing a deer, but you know, you don't want to mess yeah. with a hungry bear. Because no. they will kill anything to feed, you know, usually bears eat like berries and shit like that. Yeah. But if they can't find food, they will go to like other. No, yeah, never mess with a bear, especially Yogi Bear with his pigmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, man, black bears can be aggressive, man. So I just told everybody, hey, get on the boat, make a lot of noise, try to like scare it away. But yeah, and then it was chase it, and then it just continued. Cause Imagine having to like stand your ground against a bear. Dude, I don't ever want to think about that. That scares the shit out of me. <laughs> my, my fear is like. Finding a cub because a cub oh, yeah. will lead to a fucking mama bear. Mama bears are fucking like huge. They're mm-hmm. like 800 pounds or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. And they will fuck you up. Yeah. Like, if you see a cub, you better fucking run because a mama bear's not far away. <laughs> You're like, see ya. Yeah, don't, mess, don't mess with the cub. They will fucking. They climb trees. They run like, I don't know how, like 35 miles per hour or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. You can't run away. You could, the fastest human could run like five miles an hour or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, and that's insane. That's Usain Bolt, you know, the Olympic style. You know, you, you will never be able to outrun a bear yeah, or fight a bear. They will, there's a certain thing you got to, you got to make a lot of noise and like, you don't want to startle it, but you got to like make a lot of noise and shit. Yeah. If you run away, they might think like it's a game and they might chase you. And if you tr- you can't fight it, because they will tear you up with their claws and their teeth. So you gotta make like a lot of noise and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just try to like have them go away. Because they're more afraid of you than you are them. So. Yeah. Unless they're hungry. <laughs> yeah, and then they're, if you're hungry, then you're screwed. Then. Sorry. You're like, I ain't scared of you. <laughs> make sure you have a fucking gun, because <laughs> shoot them in the head. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Or in the heart. You know, one, one, one fun thing would be Sasquatch hunting. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard that there's some Sasquatches out in Santa Cruz. What? In the woods. Bro? Supposedly. <laughs> Let's go Sasquatch hunting. <laughs> <laughs> go in the night, try to house, see if one responds. <laughs> I know there's some wild lines out there. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. I don't want to... <laughs> you don't want to get in. I don't want to mess with the mountain lion, but... Remember, it's wild. Yeah. There's some guy that fought off a mountain lion. It was on the news a few days ago. Wow. Yeah, last week. He fought off a mountain lion because it was like... There's, there was like... Th- this year yeah, yeah. happened like two weeks ago or something. Where the mountain lion was about, like, about to attack his kid. And he just beat the shit out of the mountain lion. Yeah, and man, then finally ran away. If you see his uh, mountain lion come after you, can't you do anything? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said just instant came over. Grabbed the mountain mountain lion, put trying to suffocate the snout in like the ground. Started beating at it. They say the best you gotta like aim for the aim for the sensitive yeah. areas, so the eyes, the ears, the throat. Yeah. yeah, the nose you don't want to mess with the nose because they got canines. 
Oh, oh yeah, they will yeah, fucking, yeah. they will grab you and tear, try to tear you apart. You know, those canines are fucking big, dude. Puncture your fucking skin, rip you apart. Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta like fight that motherfucker off. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. You gotta, if you see it, you gotta present yourself bigger. But if you like toe to toe, you gotta aim for the the eyes, you know, the neck. Mm-hmm. Shit like that. Yeah. Oh, so they always recommend having like a knife with you, so then you can just stab it, and then eventually it'll, it'll, it'll run away, or just stab it until it's between you or it. you or it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. What was that? Dude. <laughs> 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 My bad, y'all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Have you, what do you think? Like, have you ever been across a wild animal like that? Mm, nothing. I don't know. Nothing like that up there. No. Nah. What Just about like, a deer or something? Only on the roads. Oh. On the road. Dude, that's scary. <laughs> yeah. They just jump out of nowhere. Like, oh, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah. We've yeah. gone up a few times to Mount Yellow, and you see them all over the place. Really? Yeah. The deers. I always wanted to go to Mount I still have been. You never go? <laughs> no, bro, it's right here. I've never been. We should go, man. It's, it's fun. <laughs> I always wanted to hike yeah, it. Though. It recently just snowed like uh, last Thursday. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. And, and it was 10 years ago since the last time it snowed. Oh, really? The, the year we graduated. Oh, oh that's right. Yeah. What the heck? I remember that one year it was super cold. The mountain, the hills were all covered in frost. And it snowed in Clayton, too. This. I was like, I remember it hailed a lot. <laughs> we were in high school. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of like little tiny, like little tiny bits of hail. Yeah. It's been cold this year. Yeah, this it's yeah. been cool. Yeah. Damn. That's sick. That's sick. That's sick. That there's snow up in the mountains. Yeah. What do you think? Huh? What's up? Nothing is like. Uh, Fighting off recovering from last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you had a good time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but, That's good. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm good. I'm good, but like, in a moment, like, I just feel like coming. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, trying to stay, trying to, I'm good, though. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I'm sticking to the grind. I'm just like, oh, man. <laughs> Man, I shouldn't have had that extra one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That regretful last dream. <laughs> yeah, it was good in the moment, but... Yeah. It's cool. Just, I forget. I forget the side effects. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> side effects? I like how you put side effects. <laughs> side effects include... Drowsy. Drowsy. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we should really plan out a day for Mariava. It's yeah. a nice place. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, that'd be dope. Let's do it. Dope. You can, I've, I've gone all the way to the top. You can see Golden Gate from all the way up there. Really? Wow, that's sick. Damn. Do it during the summertime. It's cold as fuck right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Best time to go uh-huh. is after a storm because that, the day after, if, if you ever notice, it's like super. Blue skies, no clouds. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. and that's when you can really see Golden Gate and oh, all that's around. True. Yeah, you want to go when it's not cloudy and foggy and shit. Huh? Yeah. And like, yeah, that looks hella nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That's sick. But how do you how do you get to the top? Road. There's a road that leads all the way to the top. Which one is it? I can't um, find it. I can't find it. If you go through Oak Road, okay, uh, all the way out to North Cape. The high school? Yeah. Um, well, wait, be- a little bit before, there's a street uh, to the left that says Northgate. You take that road and it leads you to the entrance. There's That's the north entrance. There's the south entrance through Blackhawk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's by, what? But where's Blackhawk at? Um, the bike plane? Down, 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 Danville Public. Oh, near Danville. Oh, in Danville. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, it is. It's just random. <laughs> oh, they have a nice, if you ever uh, knew about this, they, a nice uh, car museum there. In Danville? What? So if you're into cars, <laughs> I recommend What the, it. <laughs> random in Danville? No, not Danville, uh, Blockhawk. 
Oh, Black Hat. Black oh, okay. Hat. Yeah, it's like its own world. Really? Yeah, it's like, it, it's fully gated. Like, fine. on the yeah. side of the street, it's Danville. On the other side of the street, it's gated. It's all dead. What like, the hell? Yeah, it's no, crazy. but the museum, they have a bunch of classic cars. That's sick. From like the a, very beginning to like the... Is it like a rich area? Yeah. It is. Uh, yeah, yeah. The mall is pretty dope, too. They got a mall, too? Yeah. 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 I went there like, to do a delivery when I was working at Costco. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> really nice. Hella freaking nice. Just hella random. I never heard of this town. Yeah. It sounds all foreign like, to me. Really? Yeah. Actually, I heard of Danville and shit like that, but I never heard of this black car. I remember, like, back in, uh, I don't know if it was Glenbrook or high school, like, all the kids would talk about, like, hey, we're going to go go for a Halloween. And, like, oh, we're going to Black Con. We're going to Black Con. That's where the best can be there. And, like, where's Black Con? <laughs> I would yeah, know where to Walnut Creek because Walnut Creek also has a lot of rich people. Oh, really? Yeah, Walnut Creek. If you like go towards like, like, you know where the hospital is, yeah. like that area, but like more more towards the residential. Mm -hmm. They live on the hills. They, and they have really nice houses. In them. Yeah. They got they're loaded, man. Loaded. No, you want more loaded? <laughs> Lafayette, Aramon, oh, Dan. Oh, Lafayette, bro. Lafayette. Oh, man. Lafayette, bro. Case. Yeah. Dude, it's fun. the funny thing is when you go in Lafayette, it's like bumpy and then all of a sudden it's smooth when it's rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, this is the poor people, this is the rich people. Yeah. What the taxes pays? <laughs> what this tax pays? What the other tax? <laughs> it's like, so this is what it feels like <laughs> to be rich. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of rich people out there. Yeah, dude. Hell. Multi-million dollar houses. Oh yeah, and I've been in them too. Yeah? <laughs> Having to uh, install curtains and stuff. Oh, uh, that's They got sick. some nice stuff out there. Yeah, they don't, want, they don't want them to get their hands dirty, so they hire somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, more fun, money for us. Yeah, that's true. Hey, that works. It works for you guys. Yeah, oh yeah. They're freaking, I went up in, I went to one in Alamo. Hella up in the hill somewhere. Oh yeah? That house is hella big. Like, I, Stood outside of it, it was like way higher than me. But I'm not talking about like just the height, it, it was just so massive. Like, yeah. I felt so tiny. Yeah. It's like, just, yeah, it's the weirdest feeling. I was like, this is a house, right? Like, what the hell? <laughs> Go in, hell of big. Hell of property, high. too. Like, they have a big ass so probably backyard and shit. Yeah. Too. And then, yeah. Right up in the hills, man. I was like, what the heck? Is this ever, what it feels like? If you yeah. ever want to see like crazy nice architecture, Palo Alto has some really nice houses. Palo Alto? Yeah, like just, like, by Stanford. Mm -hmm. You want to see rich? Dude, your mind's gonna be blown. Wow. How rich these people are. I don't know. Man. These people are fucking loaded. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking, like, crazy. Yeah, I mean, they, I guess, the way they're kind of rich is because they know how to manage their money. I've recently taken up... Just think uh, about Stanford. I mean, Stanford yeah. is just a private school and all that, you know? recently taking like a, a financial course and it, it really opened up my mind as to how we need to manage our own money and it was like wow we can be as rich as they can we just need to know how to control our money because yeah. like most of the time like our money says see ya <laughs> <laughs> we can't even tell it where to go yeah. it depends though like i would also say like the rich also have the advantage of being rich because they also have the connections of everything else. Like, well, true. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> they go, they go straight. You know, the parents are rich already. Then they, you know, they go to the fancy private schools and all that. And then once they're, they're done with college, you see what happened with the the, the bribery scandal. Mm -hmm. We've been knowing rich people been doing that for a while. You know, oh, yeah, people, yeah. people pay someone here, pay somebody there. Their, their kid gets in, you know, and then they get, they finish the school. Then they have somebody in Wall Street or whatever. They get in that way, and boom, they got their life set like from beginning to end. Like, like it's hard to compete against that, you know. Yeah. I remember they brought out a uh, show on Discovery Channel called uh, "Undercover Millionaire." This like <laughs> yeah. this very famous millionaire, uh, which I didn't know he was famous. <laughs> but uh, okay, he was on the show, and he was trying to get rich again. From the very beginning. So he went to this one state where he knew nobody. He had only a truck and a cell phone with no contacts. And he literally had to live like on his, on his truck and trying to make small money. And he slowly began building on what he had. Sick. And on, upon, he supposedly thought he was going to be able to do it quick. 
uh, with his knowledge. It, it, even though it was kind of working, but it was taking, it was, was going to take a little longer than oh, he yeah. thought it would. Mm, for sure. You building a business, then, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. but it's possible. I mean, you just really know how to well, get it, around. It depends, right? Like, if you're living here in the Bay Area, the, the, what we'll, we'll could we'll consider it as poor is anything under 120000 Yeah. It's considered poor here in the Bay Area. So you have to be making north of 120000 to be considered at least you know, middle class. Cause yeah. they moved, did you hear about that? They moved the, the poor thing to like 120000 No, I didn't hear that. Yeah, no. because, because what's happened, like we've been talking about rent. Rent has been going up. Yeah. So a lot of people can't, like teachers, I don't know if you remember, the Oakland teachers went on strike. Yeah. And after that, that, like almost every other teacher association went on strike. Oh, the teachers. Yeah, because it's like, it's crazy. Like if you want to live like in San Jose or like San Mateo, whatever, you know, you have to, you don't live where you work, you know? And that makes it, so you gotta like live further, further, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Like, I don't know if you know this, but the traffic going to Pittsburgh has been getting worse. Not because, you know, it's been getting worse, but because a lot of people from Richmond, Oakland, you know, Alameda County are moving to Contra Costa. Yeah, they are. I mean, uh, they've been really uh, putting more um, neighborhoods out in Brentwood. Yeah. So a lot of people are also moving out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cheaper. The only downside is that it's far away. Yeah. 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 I also heard when uh, I was in uh, they, need, they need to just make businesses in Brentwood and then just have people go to Brentwood you see what I'm saying yeah you have, you have businesses going to San Francisco but then everybody's going to San Francisco if the city had its own like you know what I'm saying own factory own whatever yeah then people would just would just work there and then go home that'd be the ideal and yeah. then that money's going back to the city instead of going to all the way to San Francisco exactly yeah wow I, I don't know if you guys ever heard. So if you're building business, build it in Brentwood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm thinking about that. That'd be a good idea. And actually. hire people in Brentwood. Um, <laughs> it'd be cheaper too, actually. Mm -hmm. I was actually thinking about like, um, how many Mexican uh, uh, supermarkets are out there. Hardly none. There's only one, supposedly. In Brentwood? In Brentwood. Really? And to, like, if you're Latino and you want to get some Latino food uh, items. Yeah. You have to really travel out to Contra or anything like that. Even Pittsburgh. Yeah. Pittsburgh, yeah. Antioch, they have like, they have uh, Cardanes yeah. and they have... Um, Mi Tierra. Cardanes Mi Tierra. is here, dude. Huh? Yeah, they got one. Cardanes here. Really? Yeah, yeah, they got one out here. Where? Yeah. Here Monument. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, they just brought it in. I've never been there. I've never even heard about it. I was like, what the hell, Cardanes? It used to be, it used to be Pueblo, but yeah, I don't yeah. know. Did something happen where they changed oh, so the name? Oh, what the hell? Mi Pueblo. It's Mi Pueblo. It used to be Mi Pueblo, but now it's, it's the same my, Mi Pueblo uh, yeah. store. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like something illegal happened. Yeah, like, exactly. The name. They changed the name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do that, dude. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I, I was thinking about that yeah, because like over there, it'd be heck of beneficial for those who, who live out there. Super yeah. close. And they've been putting like a lot of shopping area out there. Yeah. It's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, nice. And just hire it locally. Yeah. I was gonna. I was gonna say. I, I don't know if you guys heard, but um, they're planning to put more neighborhood out and conquer. I know the naval base, right? Naval base, yes. Yeah. Supposedly the naval base sold out to Concord and they're planning to build a university and some uh, residential. Areas. I heard about this, but they've been having some. The mayor of Concord has been having issues with the uh, subcontract. So oh. They want. The, they want them to unionize. Union. They want union people because they want them to to work there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Something like that, where the where the mayor isn't is in conflict with the people making the like, not necessarily the the naval base anymore, but now it's the people who need to make all the housing and all that. Yeah. The, the contractors basically. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Okay. So they're having some conflict there, so that's why it's been taking forever. Oh wow! No wonder. Because, I mean, I've, I've seen them do little things in that uh, around the naval base. Yeah, but they're not really doing it. They're not. No. I, I remember talking to somebody in construction, and they would say, I don't know how true this is, but they would say, like, they purposefully do things slower so they can maintain a contract. No. Oh. Does that make sense? Because they'll have work. Yeah. And once I mean, that work is done, then it's done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
But that's, that's my, the one downside of construction, because once it's done, it's done. Yeah, my, my thing is, if you finish work right and good, then you have more people coming to you because then you could say you finished the work. No, true. Yeah, that'd be. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Yeah, they're trying to build like affordable housing, like a mall and shit like that. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. That, that'd be fun. On the Concord Naval Base, they're trying to like build more. I've always passed by through there, uh, through Bailey. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. You just see the whole area just What's farm that? and yeah. yeah. It'd be nice to have some houses there. Mm-hmm. That'd be so high. You can make a right or a left. Yeah, you just exactly. get on the freeway. Just there's your house. Yeah. Or just go at a restaurant around there. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to come on. Like, like, you have like another veranda over there. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the veranda's yeah. popping, yeah. bro. Right, 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 yeah. That's what, dude. You we were talking about this about the last. That's, podcast. Like, that's like when he said that. Dude, it's just like deja vu. Because we were talking about the last podcast. We were talking about how we. The only thing that's out here is Concord. Like, there's nothing past. Like, mm-hmm. if you were to go to, like, Antioch. There's, there's no, like... say that one shopping area next door. Which one? Next door to Veranda. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the mall. Yeah. But, but there's, no, there's nothing, like, east. Like, if you want to go, like, Brentwood, there's nothing, like... No, no, no. There's no, like, David Buster's. There's no, like, places to hang out. We were talking about this last podcast. It's so hilarious. Like, deja vu. Yeah. You know, like, it was how... surprising they put in IMAX. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> they need to have like pool tables. They need to have like like a Dave and Buster's or something out there because a lot of people, kids don't know what to do when they start getting into I mean, they already put round one in the mall, so. <laughs> uh, here though, right? Yeah. But what I'm saying is, why go all the way to Concord when you can go to Brentwood, Pittsburgh, Antioch? Sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what we were talking about. Like, they need to have a club too out there, like. Somewhere it's popping. Yeah. And bars and stuff, you know? Yeah. Even more. yeah. Yeah. Don't you remember? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> you had a good time last night. Yeah. I'm, I'm grateful I'm so, I made it pretty far. <laughs> yeah, dude, you made it this far. <laughs> It, that's that's funny though, yeah. How they, how you were saying that's what we're talking about. We were just talking about that. Yeah, and I, I that used to be a Chevron kind of building, huh? Yeah. It's crazy. I remember like the days I was working um, in commercial building. Uh, I would pass around that area because like I sometimes had to go to a Home Depot get some supplies. And um, and just one day I wanted to have a lunch in their parking area, and I saw it was closed. So I'm like, what? And then they started tearing down the whole place, and I'm like, what the heck are they going to do here? Before the brand used to be Chevron, really? It used to be a big old, sh- um, I think, headquarters for Chevron. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's crazy. And, uh, but yeah. <laughs> it turned into a shopping area. <laughs> Dude, that Which is turned into like better, super something better. Nice. Something super that nice. the community wanted. Finally. I know. <laughs> Closer stuff. They have a, they have a half-price bookstore next door to... Do you know where it is? But they only have a Barnes and Noble. Yeah. They got a Barnes and Noble in the veranda, but next door, like on the other side, where the another bookstore. They have a half price. Wow. They used to have one, they used to have the downtown Concord, but something and, happened uh, where they lost the lease. You mean uh, Los Santos, right? Yeah, they used to have it in Los Santos. So that's where they moved. Yeah. Well, I, I thought they just literally went out of business. Nah, dude. Like something happened. I don't know what happened. They lost the lease or something. They raised the rent. Nah, and they were there like for a long time. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's no longer there. It's, Remember it's in, the Tolo Santos area? Yeah. Every <laughs> time I, uh, off of, um, out of high school, we would just go, uh, those gallos are, um, <laughs> the dog. Dude. Do you remember the, uh, do you remember the 2010 protest? 2010 protest. Because they were protesting about teachers or something? Oh, yeah, and I think all the students went out. Yeah. I went to that one. I remember. I remember. <laughs> we all went out, like, this school. <laughs> I was like... I'm supporting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so keep your <laughs> yeah, that was a good time. Yeah, dude. Now they have like, now they have like a Peruvian restaurant, De Los Santos. Now they got like all kinds of shit. I know. Yeah. They have a cream. I really, yeah, yeah. Cream is cool. I remember that used to be uh, the only place you can get it is in Berkeley. Berkeley, two mm-hmm. in the morning, bro. Have you guys uh, tried Gypsies? Mm-hmm. 
Italians. Uh, nice Italian place. Uh, in Berkeley on Telegraph. On Telegraph. Telegraph, yeah. And there's also a, a, a good hot dog place right in there. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking uh, about. Yeah, Is that yeah. the one by for un the university? In the university, yeah. Oh, in the university? Well, or like around the area. Like, like coming from BART, right? And you're kind going up? I think so. And then there's like, uh, it's like before you cross the street. Yeah. It's like one row where they have a, um, I think I know what you're talking uh, about. eating areas. And they had there's a lot of homeless people there too, right? A few, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I put you in like what? Yeah. No, but Dizzy is recommended. We sell some really Talk good uh, Italian food there. Dizzy's? Dizzy's. Mmm, Italian food's so good. I'm trying to think of the name of the hot dog place. I know you're talking about it's like a small one, right? Yeah. The little tiny the one. hole yeah, in the yeah, wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right on the, across the street, there's uh, the one area that I said. Uh, they have like an art museum or something? Art museum. Like a movie museum across the street? Mm, not sure. Am I thinking of something else? I think a restaurant. Or is that a different stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I've been in UC Berkeley and I mean yeah, I've been in UC Berkeley and one. Yeah, no, I'm trying to remember that the street. Because I don't know if that's the same one that has the, in the corner they have um, like a dessert area. Oh, maybe it's like oh, well, cafe. You can. It's also called Top Dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's called. The, the hot dog place. Oh, oh bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, it's the same one as Top Dog. Top Dog, dude. Yeah. It's hilarious. Yeah, they, they got to go with that. I have been there in hell a year. But really? It's good. Nice. That place is cool. I mean, I've gone, I've walked around the uh, Berkeley University. Yeah. Nice architecture. Yeah. Dude, cool. I used to, I used to work, I used to do catering. And I'd always used to work either in um, the Haas, where they have like basketball games. Oh. I used to work the stands. I also used to work in the stadium and just like prep everything, get everything ready for the next day. Wow, cool. You drive the little carts, off carts. <laughs> Those are fun. Those are hella fun. Like, get all the orders from like the shipment, and, like, put everything ready, get ready, everything ready to go for the following day. Wow. Make the popcorn, shit like that. Nice. Yeah, dude, it was. You see, Berkeley was, was huge. And then they have a. Um, they also have a. It used to be a school for the deaf, but now it's for people that used to play sports. Oh, yeah? yeah. What was it called? I remember. They used to go there all the time. Because they always have like catering events there. Yeah, I used to, it's called, it used to be called, uh, if you just look at uh, Berkeley uh, Center for the Deaf, mm -hmm. um, it will come up. Nice. And uh, they, yeah, the students live there. It's like its own community. It's really nice. Yeah. The architecture is like, looks like Spanish architecture. Yeah, I've seen it. It's nice. Used to be called something school for the deaf. I don't remember the exact name. School for the deaf. Yeah. They used to have like they used to house kids that were deaf. Yeah. So yeah. That's all cool. yeah. They have like a kitchen there. They got a whole cafeteria there. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> no, that that place is big. Like it, yeah, like you say, it's own community. It's own community. Berkeley, I think, is more of a. I know there's different parts of Berkeley, but it it almost, it almost reminds me of like a university city, yeah. like a Davis or a oh you remember Santa Chico. Clara, huh? Santa Clara, bro. <laughs> me, you, and Erica. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I remember that. That one shit time. was crazy. That's so big. The automated uh, um, library. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. We, we took a tour because we were in like this program for like uh, colleges taking mm -hmm. tours. Remember? Yeah. And we went to use not UC Santa Cruz. We went to Santa Santa Cruz, uh, Santa Clara University. It was like a was it pre like Catholic? Catholic. Place, yeah. It was a Catholic, and they have like a church there. People get buried in there. Oh, hell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I remember passing by that one library, and it was you could see how it's all automated. Dude, they have like you can uh, search up your book, and it just brings it to you. For real? Yeah. yeah. You don't have to go searching it for it. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was automated, bro. It was sick. Yeah. It was huge too. Yeah, that is sick. I remember we went out to uh, also um, Berkeley. Yeah, Berkeley. Berkeley. It's, uh, Simona. I think I went with, I went with you guys for like three three different places. Yeah. And I couldn't go for some reason. Yeah. I didn't get to go to San Francisco. I think you went. Yeah. No, I didn't get to go to San Francisco. Uh, me, it was me, you, and Eric. We went like two or three different places. Yeah, it was three places. Yeah. And, uh, 
that shit was sick. That was a good summer. <laughs> that was a good summer. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it was kind of like summer schoolish, but... <laughs> yeah, it was cool. It was cool because we got to like travel and shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's hella sick. sick. <laughs> no, that's dope. And then we realized how expensive private school was. I'm like, oh shit, I'm not, I can't... No, uh, no, no. I realized that. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm like, wait, what? What's the sticker price? Oh, I hate them. Yeah. They're like, it's okay. He gets student loans and grounds and money. Yeah. Yeah, most of them. No good, thank you. We were too smart for that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they're just trying to soften the blow. Right yeah, exactly. You know? It's okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me give you a pill before I hit you with this hammer. <laughs> <laughs> then you wake up, you got a big old loan. Yep. They have to oh. Dude, the student loans are crazy. The, the private ones are crazier than the ones that the federal government at the time. Yeah. When we were graduating, it was like an insane amount. That's why it's better to get a scholarship. <laughs> yeah, if you can. Yeah. Or grant, you, there's a lot of FAFSA. You know, yeah. there's a lot of free money Grants. for the government. Yeah, that's like a community college too. The community college, always, I recommend it to, to all my sisters. Go to community college first because you're, you're going to get the same education as you were. Yeah. Like if you go to university or state. You should, and it's just way cheaper and it's just like... Definitely. It's really like convenient. They have a lot of resources there. Utilize it. When I when I uh, when I when I was doing my EMT stuff, firefighter stuff, I went to LMC. Yeah. They have an excellent, excellent, excellent firefighting program. Excellent EMT program. I highly recommend anybody. Nice. If that's what you're gonna do, mm-hmm. you can do it through the college LMC. Because it's 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 really like they they had the professors there, all the firefighters. They were ex firefighters, EMT. They would they they'll guide you through the process. Um, yeah, I pro- always liked LMC uh, because of the technical aspect. Mm-hmm. How they have like you know the firefighters. Um, yeah. And I think it's mostly that pro of that school. Um, their main specialty is uh, training people to operate the uh, power plants. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, they do a lot of that yeah. stuff too. They do a lot of power plant stuff. That's That'd be fun to do. Going. That's what I was going for for a little bit. Uh, yeah? yeah? Yeah. But then I realized that. Like, nah, it was too much work? No. Nah. It, I liked it. It just wasn't for me. Oh, I, okay. I'm like, I realized I'm like, I don't see myself doing it. You'd be like Homer Simpson to say right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Operating a power plant. <laughs> it was, you were doing the water one, right? Yeah, I was, doing, I was trying to be like, a water treatment operator. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, but you learned all that, like refineries and everything. Oh, nice. nice. So, it, it was like the teachers were good, they all came from experience. Some still work there, mm-hmm. they're teaching part time. Wow. Yeah, so they were dope. But yeah, I was just like, at the end of that semester, I was like, no. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna go to go back to music. And yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah. telling him too, like, he like, yeah. he has like a good lyrics. I was telling him, like, when I met him, like, back in LMC, he was going, like, he was going through a few things, but I was like, dude, you got. You got a talent, man. Utilize it. Yeah, everybody's you guys, t- everybody yeah, you guys t- too. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, you gotta like, you know? This when I was becoming EMT and I realized it wasn't for me either. You know? yeah. It's funny, we like run into each other at the library. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 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 And I was like, what the? Like, what? Yeah, it was wow. a fucking giant ass book of EMT and I was studying. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Dude, the EMT book is like this wow. thing. Yeah. It was huge. I would always carry that shit around me. Yeah, that's the one. I mean, I kind of thought about medical side, but I was like, uh, that would be a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. It depends on how far up you want to go. If yeah. you want to become a nurse, then yeah. But if you want to become like an X-ray operator, have you guys watched uh, medical shows, like TV shows? Um, I seen one. I think it depends. Like real stories from the ER or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. seen that one once. Yeah. I've seen this one show called uh, House MD. Mm. Recommend it. It is, it is cool. Is that the guy with the cane and the. Yeah. That guy. That guy. <laughs> I remember in college everybody was talking about that. It, it's, it's a cool it show. It's a really and, good show, apparently. Well, but like, it really gets into the whole medical aspect and like, just how you were talking about earlier how like one symptom can be similar to another one. Mm-hmm. And if you make the wrong choice, you know. Yep. Whoops. And it's very like, yeah. No, body? Just, uh, just recently I went. Um, this New Year's, I had to go with one of my aunts, who um, asked to 
has some liver problems. Mm -hmm. um, and she had to go to ER to just get checked out. And uh, I just like noticed how they were asking her many times, like, is this your name? Is this your birth date? And I'm like, wow, they really got strict with that. <laughs> and they, they wouldn't do that before. Mm -hmm. And I assume it's because of the legal aspects where like, um, uh, how they, the, those who are being treated, if they get treated wrongly, um, obviously whoever's treating them gets sued. Yeah. Also, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. also they gotta like be on, be on top of it. Yeah. Because yeah. or else, you know, you're out there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have to really take, uh, you have to take pa patient confidentiality seriously if you're, um, because there's HIPAA and there's all these rights that patients have. And there's things you have to know about, like laws and everything. Um, but you also, there's also another aspect you need to know about the med like med like medicine, like a fucking Tylenol and the medicine is gonna cost you way more than like. Yeah. Did you know that? Like they like sometimes they'll surcharge things to out. You know. Wow. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah don't, yeah. don't take like if, you, if there's, they offer you like certain. Uh, Obviously, I'm not a medical expert. I'm a disclaimer, blah blah. blah. But there are times where they'll, they'll try to do things when you don't really need them, just so they can charge the insurance companies to get more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to kind of be like not on edge, but you got to know when to say no to certain things. Like, just be aware. Yeah. I was also thinking about maybe um, being a pharmaceutical. Dude, they make shit ton of money. That, that's what I heard. And they like, make shit ton of money. And the Bay Area is the best place if you want to do it because yeah. we have, we have all kind. We have like pharmaceutical companies are all over. Like we got Bayer, we got um, what's the other one? Uh, the one in South San Francisco, mm. with the giant buses with uh, Genentech. Yeah. Genentech, yeah, yeah shit ton. Yeah. Here is the bio, biotechnology is right here, and pharmacy. Yeah, I, I remember one time, I, since I'm all into the whole RC stuff, I went to uh, this like, small little airport out in the hills by where I live. Mm -hmm. And there was one guy who was flying his airplane. And I was like, hey, what do you do? And he's like, oh, I'm a pharmacist. And I'm like, oh, nice. How much do you get paid? He's like, a ton of money. <laughs> like, no wonder. He got this, like, he had a big old nice plane. And he was flying. I was like, dude. Yeah, pharmacists make a shit ton Sick. Anything yeah. in the pharmacy industry? Because you gotta think about how much medicine is out there. Yeah, it looks like a pretty cool job. Um, if you're into chemistry, I remember uh, when I was working the uh, build um commercial building maintenance. I would sometimes be sent out to Berkeley to maintain a building, and in one of those buildings was a pharmacy, and I had to change some lights, and I would just randomly look at the. Uh, pharmacists who were working around just making medicine and pills. And I was like, oh, that was a pretty cool job. Yeah, it's not that. It's, we need pharmacists because we're always learning medicine. Medicine is important because, you know, to help fight diseases and stuff. Yeah. Um, they also are very, pharmacies are very important because they're also the ones that develop the vaccines. Yeah. So people forget that. Yeah. You just gotta, you know, don't do pharmacy sales or anything like that. But <laughs> <laughs> Cause they, that's kind of sleazy. It's kind of has like a yeah, yeah, bad yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. sales and all, anything with sales is always kind of like slippery, you know. Yeah, might as well just stick to making the medicine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but pharmacists, yeah, yeah, they make a shit ton of money. Wow. You can go, you, I think you can go to community college and like get some few, a few, get your general education done. Yeah, and then transfer to like university or state, and yeah. it's a good, it's a good career. Very, very lucrative. Yeah, that'd be a good thing to study. Yeah, dude. You can develop the next vaccine. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Working on vaccine research. Yeah, for I don't even take those vaccines. <laughs> huh? I don't even take those vaccines. The, so like the, the flu shots that they always say. Uh, yeah, the flu shot is kind of... The flu shot is, uh, is controversial because there's like, I don't know how many thousands of flu strains and yeah. they're just kind of doing the best guess yeah yeah you know what I'm saying and as far as I understand the flu shot is the actual virus that it just re-injected inside yeah. you it's just like 
Mm. But it's less than if you were to get it from somebody else. Oh, true. Yeah. It's a lesser form. It's just like, you know, <clears throat> it's better to have a chicken pox shot than it is to get a chicken pox. Mm. Yeah. Because two things. If you get the chicken pox shot, you won't get you, know, you won't get chicken pox. If you get chicken, like I had chicken pox when I was a kid, so when I'm 50, I have to get the, the what is it called? The same virus turns into something else. Well, you have to read. Well, you have to take another shot. Yeah, at 50, at 50, 55. Oh, and I thought you like if you ever just got it when you were little. No, because it. what happens is the, the chicken pox. No, it, it's not going to turn as chicken pox, but it will appear as it's called shingles. Oh. It's the same virus. Mm. Wow. So if you have the chicken pox as a kid at 55, you you know you want to get that shot because it's the same virus and it'll flare up and it's also contagious and it's, and it can be deadly, you know. And if you never got it when you were a kid, if you got the shot, you got the shot. No, 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 the chicken chicken pox. I mean, you're good, but you would want to get the shot. I don't know if you, if you have the shot. Because, I mean, if from what I've always heard, it's like, if you never got it as a kid, it's way worse when you're older. Yeah, it is. Because it can swell, it can, um, it can swell to your throat. And it can, oh, I see. Yeah, so you want to, it's better to get the shot than it is to actually get it. It's a good thing I had it already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's better to get the shot. I gotta get it Because <laughs> <laughs> it's highly contagious, and it's, um, yeah, and it's, you'll, it'll start, you'll get bones and shit. And, the, the dangerous part is when it gets to the throat, because oh, yeah. then it'll start it'll suffoc you can suffocate. Oh, that's crazy with the whole uh, medical symptoms. Like with that one show I was talking about, you will see some crazy things. It's just like, oh man. Dude, that was like, I always loved like a thousand ways to die because I'd always love. Oh yeah, I've seen that a few times too. When the doctor would explain how a person would die. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like I remember this one guy. He was like on PCP or something, and he put the lava lamp inside of a, a microwave oh, yeah. for like 10 minutes or something. And it was like staring at it. Blew up and it like shattered it. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, because the lava lamp is just like, you know, it is what it says it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously it's going to It's going to fucking explode and like shards of glass. It's like it's all pressurized in a bottle. Yeah. And heat has to expand, so it's going to... Yeah, exactly. Over. So just the entire just fucking microwave and everything. All that... All that energy just right at him. Yeah, shards of glass, and they end up cutting his throat or something. And so, like, you know, once your throat is done, you're done. I've also heard that like water can become explosive in the microwave. Uh, the MythBusters uh, tested that out once in an episode, like a really, really old episode, where if you superheat water in a microwave and you accidentally throw a spoon into the cup. It's gonna explode at you. What? Yeah. It's reacting to the metal, though, isn't it? I don't know. I'm no. I mean, like, not like you leave the spoon inside while you're cooking it. Oh. But like at the end of it, like as soon as like it's superheated, like you leave it in way too long. Oh. Like I guess it's superheated. It didn't boil at all. But like you drop something in it, and it goes mm. right I don't at know. you. I don't know how true that so, is like, because. Yeah, yeah. I work with hot water all the time. I work in a kitchen. Yeah. And we have coffee makers, and that shit is fucking hot. There's a coffee maker portion, and then it has a little spigot where you can pour hot like water. straight hot water. And that shit is like at least. I know, but that's different. But I mean, I'm talking. Three hundred degrees Fahrenheit. You know? Superheating water in the microwave. Oh, I don't know. That'd be a different that story. Shit, <laughs> that shit is hot as fuck. You burn your hand. Just, it's it's hot. Yeah. Like everything in the kitchen will keep, like will, you can hurt you <laughs> so they always have movies of people fighting in the kitchen dude it's like I got like a burn here like oh really you, you know oh, you're working man. with knives you're working with like steam and shit like wow. your tight spaces like you can trip over things it's a death trap <laughs> it is it really is and everybody is, and it's like 10 people just moving back and forth and carts and like moving things and it's crazy it's like if you've ever been in the kitchen it's always like chaos yeah <laughs> I've seen Ratatouille. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, kitchens are great. They're chaotic. You gotta know how to be fast too. Because if you're not, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like a chaos thrives in chaos, but also has order. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Wow. Working in a kitchen. Right. I think I think I'm ready to wrap up. All right. Yeah. So. Uh, Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> I'll set it off. 
Huh? It's a delay. Oh, okay, okay. It's gonna oh, fix it. Uh, oh, it's all right. Thank you for joining us on today's podcast. Um, as always, we try to bring value and. Thank you, Eric, for coming Thank through. Thank you. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure being here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys all have a good day, good night. Enjoy your lives. Have fun, as always. And remember, drink Kool-Aid <laughs> in the winter. Drink Kool-Aid. Fuego Sol signing off. Senor Smiley. See ya.